I said I was going to do a 425 Kim? podcast, but I'm a true Kim, runner. Kim, as we it. start the show, you can't be the first voice that they hear. So that means you have to be quiet. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm. I know. I'm live. I'm not. I'm. I'm. Y if you can hear me, that means I'm live. Yeah, that's that's why. So yeah. Oh my gosh. I know. Oh my goodness. I. You know what? This girl's gonna drive me crazy. That. This is. This is Kate Kapoor over here. Actually, just she just having a white face today. No, it's not. Actually, it's not. It's a. That's a. That's Kim Busty Bombshell. But anyway. This is the late night version of the one and only. It's a trip over radio show. No turning me to psychedelic masturbation, man. This is the show that we specialize in deep buttage. I don't know. No, I don't know why I keep so always, always say every episode I got a butt, uh, buttage and whatnot. It's hard to keep my my left booty cheek clean. I guess I don't know what that is. You ever ever had that problem, Kim, with buttage? Yes. I, I, I guess you said something because we certainly didn't hear you because you're not talking into the mic. Yes, so, I do. You, you, you suffer from butt itch. What do you do about your butt itch? I buy preparation H wipes. I thought that was for people with hemorrhoids. No, they're <laughs> good for anal and vaginal use. Really? If you read the label, that's what it says. I don't want to read the label for, for preparation H. Black folks, don't really, we don't go for preparation H. Shit, we go for preparation, prep, uh, preparation tissue. Should make sure we get all of it out, I guess. Well, they have other alternative brands, but yeah, I guess. I don't know what's fucking. Those wrong. on the label say they're for use for both. Um, you know, I ain't fuck with this this fucking line. This shit's not working. I I, I just get no satisfaction there. Anyway, this is the late night version of the Trip Over Radio Show, and alternative means of psychedelic masturbation. Where is K Kapoor? K Kapoor is en route. She has had a, 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 an emergency that she had to deal with, and it kind of kept her longer than she would have liked to. So then Kim could stop fucking asking me, where is Kay? So she's on her way, Kim. So then when she gets here, then you can give her the interrogation of where she's been. So that you keep asking me and whatnot, because she's been in contact with me. So that's why I know where she is. But, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. Kay Kapoor is a little bit lovable. We all have to like her. And everybody that, you know, uh, of course, you know, this show, we, we talk about sex, drugs, um, entertainment, politics, and, we, you know, we cater to people's vices and whatnot. So, you know, whatever it is that we uh, talk about that's get, that you kind of hide in the closet and whatnot, this is the show that brings it out. You know what I'm saying, Kim? Yes, I do. Kim, 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 Kim has been on the show. If, if, if uh, for those that have been following uh, a trip and trip over for some time, you know, uh, Busty Bomb Show has uh, been with us uh, for some time. So it's always good when she drops in and whatnot. Obviously, for the obvious reasons, for outside of people that don't know, there's a reason why she has to kind of stay away for a long period of time, and she once again proved it. Again, why she does, because she just loves to just, brrr, 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 brrr. but we love Kim. Anyway, a little bit of uh, uh, information about Kim, because Kim is actually sitting here until, uh, until Kate gets here. Kim has, you know what, you know, I'm going to let you, because I, I don't want to over, over, over uh, describe what you've done or do. So I'm going to let Kim kind of describe it, and I'll kind of chime in from there. Go ahead, Kim. Oh, well. Um, Once again, you have to talk into um, the I started off. Um, about a decade ago. Well, I started off a long time before that, but around a decade ago, I started off with the internet and the YouTube, and I wanted to help other people, you know, and do the right thing by them. People that, you know, were depressed, suicidal, homeless, people that needed to, you know, get ahead, get jobs. And um, I started doing this on the internet, and I started mixing my work life with my newfound internet career and my work life. Um, I was a working girl and I was a dominatrix for 25 years and um, I ran a very great business that was you know, profitable at times, but um, I do battle mental illness, so this is why I wanted to help other people because it really wasn't my life plan. So um, towards the end of my career, um, I, you know, I had a, a very big celebrity clientele, and I'm not usually one to kiss and tell. But um, I had come on this show, and I've, you know, done a few other shows, and um, I discussed. Oh, I look. This yeah. stuff that we're going to be talking <laughs> about later, I think, is working. So 
we went <laughs> so I went to some of the media and I said to them, listen, you know I what, have Kim? somebody that you might be interested. You know, you Kim, that is really, really, really interesting. <laughs> well, you told me to run down there. Okay, well, so, uh, well, geez, yeah. Okay, so I, to... I help other people. I help the homeless, animals, everybody in between. <laughs> and uh, I helped a few celebrities along the way. And, you know, a few of them did me dirty. Um, a lot of it, you know, was when I was younger and underage. And... Um, I ended up, you know, doing a story on somebody, um, a Mr. Michael Phelps, and um, you know, you know, I can actually tell a story a little bit better. Kim has been around for a long time. Yeah, she's she's very much the humanitarian that wants to go ahead and help people with, with all the their different ailments and pre-existing conditions from like depression and suicide and and uh, you know self mutilation things like that. However, Kim also went uh, another path as well where she was a dominatrix and uh, uh, somewhat of a video vixen and whatnot you know as you if you can if you're watching us now on s street media uh via ustream tv you can actually see us live and went up but uh, she's used her her major big assets and and <laughs> she has turned some heads you know people like michael phelps which she uh, was on the national Enquirer uh about uh, some uh, affair that curtis she had with him she whizzed on him actually she she gave him a golden shower and 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 whatnot. What did you did you sit on his face too? No, I did not. I don't engage in anything sexual like that. Damn, you it was just strictly fetish. Oh, boring. Okay. Boring. Oh damn. Boring but interesting. Like I said, there's always a twist to everything that I always said. Did you twist his nuts or something? With a string. Oh, okay. He likes that shit. Yes. Oh wow. What else is? Well, you have to. You want to read the. The um the thing, the the paper, the interview that I did. Well, I'm saying since we, I'm just saying. Yeah, but I mean, it we, ended up turning out, like I said, with the event of things, that okay. everything that I had said in the interview and before and interviews after, that um therapy ended up helping this person in the long run. Talk therapy, and they have a very big campaign going about it, and it makes me angry. I had to say that. Because honestly, I don't like to talk about this that much anymore because it's, you know, said and done. Yeah. Um, but like I said, before that happened, I was a big advocate for helping people. And I guess I'm just glad to see that they went down the right path. Because I'm a good person, okay, and I like to we see don't, people succeed. We don't, we don't, we don't, we, on this show, we don't fucking go, go, go stepping on, 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 on leaves and, 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 and whatnot <laughs> with, the, with the side talk and shit like that. And for example, when we were talking about Aretha Franklin, God rest her soul, when she was when she died, we said, you know what, this bitch think that she just because you, you know you're dead, your funeral should be fucking three days long or something. So we so we we pretty much kind of talk straight when we're, when we're under any influences and, no, and stuff like that. No, but that is straight talk. Well, no, I, well, I'm, I am happy for anybody that gets help. Okay, well, this is not, we're, not, we're, we're not a, we're not a health advocate show, <laughs> and we're like trying to get motherfuckers help. You know what I'm saying? We're not. We're not one of those. Even though, but I mean, but this is for people that 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 do whatever they do. We don't. We don't say go do it. But if you're going to do it, let us give you some safe ways of how to do it and whatnot that keeps you healthy. At least keeps you alert, keeps you awake, and whatnot, whatnot. So this show, if you're in the golden showers, as I say, I am. You I don't have a problem saying that. Definitely hit me up on Instagram. So that's what that's the kind of shit my fuckers want to hear. They want to hear the other bullshit. But I hear you. You know. Other person is here with us today. You got his good side, Sosa. Am I good he's got, side? He's got a good side. I think now all that we opened with tonight. that whole statement. Right. So, as the other person sitting over here today, this is John. He is a he's a, a business owner out of Brooklyn. That's right, Brooklyn in the house. You know what I'm saying? He is the owner, owner and operator of Red Devil. Red Devil Kratom. And, Red uh, Devil Kratom, and Green Green Angel CBD. Green, green Angel CBD. And kind of for the for I, well for all the uh, connoisseurs, y'all know what that is. For the advocate just coming into the CBD and the CBCs, whatnot. CBD. Kind of, kind of run down what is your product. Sure. So we've been in business for about five years already. Uh, I own a Red Devil Kratom and Green Angel CBD. Uh, pretty much CBDs to help anybody with anxiety, depression, joint pain, arthritis, arthritis. Uh, 
any kinds of anxiety or depression, as I said before, uh, to help you sleep at night, to uh, try to get you off these, uh, these harmful pharmaceutical drugs that's oh. going around these days. Also, uh, we sell something called Kratom, which is, uh, so I'm the owner of Red Devil Kratom, and, and what it does is most people don't come off the opiates because the withdrawal symptoms are horrible. Mm -hmm. and, and it's one of the worst withdrawal symptoms you can actually go through in life. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and I know, because I'm, I'm in recovery, uh, and I've been there, and I kicked the opiates cold turkey a long time ago. I have to. Right. So, so, right, so, these are, so this is um, cr the cranium. That's the right. Kratom, Kratom. Kratom, I'm sorry. Yeah, Kratom, Kratom is, is a... Kratom. Oh, you say yeah. Kratom or Kratom? Kratom, Kratom. It's Kratom. I say Kratom. Kratom, Kratom. So, kratom. so is it so Kratom? So kratom? it's Kratom, yeah. So what Kratom does kratom is, is it, more Brooklyn. It'll, it'll stop the withdrawal symptoms. Mm -hmm. So they're able to recover and get off the drugs better. You hmm. know? It's also used for like energy, focus. Since it's a sex show, it's also used for stamina mm -hmm. while you're, you're having sex. Uh, it's also a sub substitute for any pain pills. Mm. Uh, also, it's a substitute for uh, people that have ADD. It'll mm -hmm. calm them down, or people that are just don't want to get out of bed. There's a green strain that'll kick you in the ass, and you'll and you'll start running miles. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's amazing stuff. It's amazing stuff. And how is how is the after effect? After effect, there there, there there is no after effect of it. There is no danger to it. Uh, the FDA will say there's a danger to it, but FDA is out there to fuck anybody with natural medicine. All they know? want to do is just fuck you and fuck you and fuck you. Pretty and much. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Is it so? So it's almost almost like it also, also acts like a like an energy booster, like you said, like a Red Bull, be like just as strong. Absolutely, as a natural energy booster. Yes. Do There's they certain... put this in Red Bull? No, no, they don't. Put I don't it in drink Red Bull. that. <laughs> I don't drink energy drinks. Yeah. Kim, if you're gonna be cozy, you have to let them finish the whole. They answer in, in, in its totality, huh? You can't just stop them in mid sentence. So, Steve, I know you want to ask. So pretty Kim much. Is so anxious. Yeah. So pretty much, yes. like I was saying, pretty much there's different strains. So a, a green strain, a green vein kratom will give you that boost of energy, a nice little euphoric going on. It's also used great for uh, for sexual stamina. It'll, mm -hmm. it'll make you go for miles. You know. Uh, then you got the red strain, which is great for coming off any kind of opiates or any kind of pain management. Uh, you take the red strain, the, the withdrawal symptoms will go down to like 10% of what they were, well, originally were. Mm -hmm. And then you got the white vein this, that pretty much kick you in the ass. Let's start taking on the rest of the day. So it's like cocaine? Well, no. no oh. I, I would never compare Kratom to cocaine since it's a natural medicine. Oh. Right? And, and we try to get people on Kratom to get away from other drugs. Oh, okay. So that's that's what we're trying. So, to type, when you're talking about opiates, you're talking about more more or less like the bar, uh, barbiturates. You're talking about well, the, more like uh, the oxys, the oxys. oxys, and all that other bullshit that's going on today. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of people are addicted to this stuff today. You know, they they, get, they find it in their mother and father's uh, dress uh, bathroom cabinet. They take a pill, and by then, by, by the time it's a year or two years down the line, they're addicted to this shit. Okay. You know. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you both the question. Uh, uh, sure. uh, in terms of uh, drug use. Now, I, 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 I mean, me too. Your boy Willie Biggs, maybe not as intense as y'all. No. <laughs> Hey now. <laughs> well, you know, maybe maybe not as intense, but yeah. but but you know, I'm 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 the baby the the baby druggie. Listen, here. give it some time. No, you, know, <laughs> you know, give it some time. Uh, that's what I be trying to tell people. I can't catch up. I'm too old now. Yeah. I'm I'm too old to be catching up now. Shit. So I mean, how did you? I mean, how did you? How did you start your your drug habit? What what prompted you to go on? Drugs and what type of drugs did you used to do? That for you, Kim. That's for you, John. Oh. And I'll even don't. Okay. I'll even chime in. So Maybe so like wants to come and answer first, that and then everybody will be less addicted than me. <laughs> no. All right, I'm just saying. <laughs> now, Kim, now, 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 don't be fancy with your no, answer, no. man. Don't be, don't be like, like pussy, pussy fun with the answer, man. This is we we talk straight on this motherfucker. I won't lie. All right, well then, go ahead. Hit it. Hit us all. How did I start with drugs? Okay, what's the first drug? Okay. Um. I guess alcohol. Alcohol. Well, around what age? Maybe 12, Everclear. Oh, Everclear damn. and like Ooh. a little shot. Me and my yeah. friends got it from my sister's uh, cabinet. Then I guess weed at like 15, 16. Then like acid and ecstasy. Then, um, then I started dabbling with like Percocets for years because I always had back problems from, you know, my large boobs. Because my, they would cut into my neck, my bras, like literally, like my necks and my shoulders would be bleeding from you know the pain. Mm -hmm. So I got into those once in a while because I had a friend that was a hemophiliac, and um, that you know he, really that's that's how I got my Percocet. So a hemophilia, what are hemophilia? Because they never prescribed them to me. The hemophiliacs are just the ones that like to feel up on you. No, they like <laughs> they no. So 
that so it went something from with blood that, and hemophilia. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I guess from like maybe the age eighteen to maybe twenty three or something like that, I dabbled in like acid and mushrooms. I had a boyfriend then. We used to travel to Amsterdam. I always smoked a lot of weed. The like I never took a break from weed. And then um, then I guess I started with diet pills. And then the diet pills they had me so speedy because I always had. You know medical issues which we discussed that the bipolar thing and um so i went from that the diet pills so you're just a general generational drug user well yeah, wait so then i went from the diet yeah, pills wait. then from the zan then i had to take xanax She's putting in your place bro. To, no, 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 wait. no you want oh, to no, no, then i thought i thought you was going to stop and then no, no, no i got no, why, why didn't you get to this so age then, yet so then what? so then i started with the xanax and then I had a, then it was the diet pills, the Xanax, the diet pills, the Xanax, until I had a heart attack at like 25 years old. And I oh, went to wow. my first rehab and I hit the floor and I went to Conifer Park, upstate New York. These people, shout out to them. They saved my life a few <laughs> times. No, really. Yeah. It's the people like that in the industry. Oh, okay. And, you know, I never really considered myself like a full, like a drug addict. I, like I was a partier. I did stuff. I self-medicated. I was in and out of the hospital, you know, suicidal my whole life. And then... I just stuck with the weed, stuck with the weed. After I got off the Xanax, I always was with the weed. Maybe every few years I would relapse on the Xanax, okay. blackout, bad things happen. All right, okay, well, all right, all right, okay. Because I, like, we, I have yeah. an idea, we have a good idea. Okay. All right, well, all right. That's it. I could go Gee on on. whiz. Well, okay. you asked. So. Well, well, yeah, I, I, I didn't know it was like, uh, 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 what's that, uh, well, decade Michael Jackson, greatest hitch. Uh, drug great as shit, <laughs> shit. Damn. Okay, I got you. Okay, John, Thanks please well. tell us how you started, man. Well, I, I guess I started. I pretty much grew up on the streets in New York. I, I'm 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 40 years old, so I grew up in Brooklyn. Was Brooklyn, you know? We used to hang out on the corner, drink beer, chill with the friends, you know, do stupid shit. Cops chasing the cops, cops chasing us, all kinds of wild shit growing up. So I guess started drinking at the age of nine as a kid with the older kids, trying to be cool, and smoking at the age of 12, smoking weed. And it just progressed. It really just progressed. You know, I've been I've been clean and sober for a very long time now, which mm -hmm. uh, thank God for that. What was your What was your drug of choice? So, I liked everything, uh, especially the opioids, the, the the Percocets and the the, the Vicodin and the Roxycodone and stuff like that. Uh, had a bad injury, broke my leg in about seven different places. Jeez. Uh, the doctors, Getting away from Kim, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, I tried to run away from her and I, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I was, I was <laughs> and, then she, and then she sat on my leg. <laughs> and then it really fucked up. <laughs> so uh, I pretty much fucked my whole leg up, really bad. And uh, the doctors had me junked out. The doctors were giving me 180 roxycodones every two weeks. And... Uh, I, I played uh, the pain mode, you know, give me more pills, give me more pills. And pretty much the doctor was my drug dealer, you mm -hmm. know. And at that point, I was already stuck knee deep into pills. And one day he said, I'm not giving it to you no more. Out mm -hmm. of the blue, after I was already knee deep into the shit, you know, mm -hmm. the, the doctors, I guess he tried to save his ass, you know, and uh, he pretty much left me hanging. And then unfortunately, I had to buy off the streets, you know. And, uh, and when you buy off the streets, you keep going in and out of jails and all that bullshit, you know, and... Uh, <laughs> Thank God I stopped. I, I, one day I woke up and I said, what the fuck am I doing? You know, and, and I stopped. You know, I, I wasn't fortunate enough to have Kratom when I came off of opiates. I, I kicked it cold turkey. You know? Wow. So it was a nightmare. A lot of these people that have Kratom today, they're, they're very lucky because they have a way out. They don't have to deal with the withdrawal symptoms. You know? right. And that's why I'm in this business. You know, I, I enjoy helping people. And you can Google me. You know, Google John D. from Red Devil Kratom, and you'll see what people say about me. You know, I, I've been in the Huffington Post, the Vice Magazine, and Prohibit Magazine, and... I'm actually getting uh, people, uh, uh, the New York City Film Academy uh, contacted me a few days ago. They want to do a documentary on me and my company because they, they said we haven't seen so many great reviews like this with people. You know? mm -hmm. So you guys really save people's asses. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, I do. So it always pays off. For me, it's, yeah, I get better. I got to make sure I come first regardless. Right. Because if I don't come first, I can't help nobody else. Mm -hmm. You know, and then my, my thing is I like helping people, you know, and I'm pretty famous for it, you know, and I'm all over the internet for it. So. Um, did you did you find yourself getting the same help uh, when you were when you were a drug addict? Yeah. Did you find yourself getting the same help, or or did you feel like no one was really helping? Mm, or no. well, the thing is with me, I uh, I got help, but I wish there was somebody like me that was helping me when I was coming off the shit. Mm -hmm. You know, because who's better than another person that I got off the stuff to get you better? 
You know, right. Somebody got these guys in suits and shit, and you look at them like, oh, who the fuck is this guy? Mm-hmm. You know, and especially with somebody that's coming off the street, right. you know, going in and out of jails and stuff like that. So I think if I had somebody like me, I probably would have been off better. You know, I probably would have been easier for me to get off the shit. You know, and if I definitely had Kratom, I would have got off a lot faster than I, than I, than I did. Okay. How, did you th- how did you discover Kratom? So I'm actually, I work in the recovery field, believe it or not. So I went to school uh, for this recovery coach stuff. And what happened is they said something about natural medicine. If, if your client likes natural medicine, find it for them. And, and that's where I got left off. And I said, what the fuck? I said, that's, it? that's all they're leaving with us? So I went home and I just started obsessing. I said, what kind of natural medicine could help someone get off drugs? And I found Kratom. And I started reading these crazy reviews. Like, this, this thing got me off the heroin. This got me off the pills. This got me off this. And I said, what the fuck is this shit? So I bought myself. Back then, I got out of nightclub. I used to own nightclubs. And I shut it down. I, w- I had one of those aha moments. And I said to myself, oh, I'm getting out of the nightclub business. I got hey, out of that business. Anything that we know about? Any, any nightclub that we might know about? Yeah, yeah. So we did uh, Luxor Lounge in the city. Uh, and, and actually in, in uh, Long Island City. Uh, and then we had like all kinds of celebrities would come there and we have these strip parties once in a while. And I had another place in Brooklyn where I ran over that Russian club. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a little while. And just one day I woke up and I told myself, I, I don't want to do this. How, how was the cocaine? Then? The cocaine? I don't know. I wasn't doing drugs back oh, then. I, just, I wasn't I just, doing drugs. Back. I was a good boy already when I opened up nightclubs. Uh, uh, I just messed around. So I went to school and I found this and, and, and I just something snapped in my head to look for some kind of holistic medicine that can help somebody get off drugs. And mm-hmm. I found Kratom. Uh, I, I lost tons of money already because I shut down the nightclubs and I left the nightclub scene. And I bought myself $80 worth of this stuff. And I opened up a little group, a little online group. And what I did is I passed it all out for free. Uh, and I said, I'm going to give it to you for free as long as you give me some testimony. And the testimonies I got were amazing. Like, you got my son off of heroin. You got me off the pain pills. I stopped my post-traumatic press pills because of you. And I, and I looked at these testimonies and I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Mm-hmm. And I said, this might work. So I bought another $80 worth, you mm-hmm. know, and I, and I gave it all away again. But I sold a little bit just to make my money back. So I really lost a lot of money. And it's, it's been great since then. You know, I, I'm, like I get interviewed all the time. Like news, news, news agencies always contact me, you know. Uh, and, and thank God I, I am where I am today. This started off something with a hunch. This started off, let me see if I can help somebody. It ended up something big. It ended up pretty big with my company. Google me, uh, John D. from Red Double Kratom, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, ask about me, nigga. Ask about yeah. me, baby. Ask well, I'm about glad I go. found you online because yeah, he just said we don't help people, but who everybody said, who helps said we people. Help? Who said he said we're not down with that. <laughs> I didn't say that. It depends I, on well, how you so, say it. It, it, it. Depends on it, how so you help speak. them. Yeah. yeah, so to speak. No, no, but to, to touch on what Kim said, what I'm saying is, let's say, for example, when I was talking about cocaine one, one, one episode, and I said <laughs> that if you're going to, if you're going to uh, get, you know, if you're going to go ahead and do cocaine or whatever, whatever, here's a way that you can kind of, what you're supposed to do, you know, you're supposed to, you know, uh, Make sure you're with somebody. Make sure you drink a lot of water. So you know, dehydrate. You gotta test it. You gotta you test know, it first. You know, put yeah, test it. You know, kind of uh, wet your nostrils. You know, try to make sure your shit is you know moist. You know, so so there's tips that you know we we, we kind of. It's gotta be safety you know, cocaine yeah, tips. Yeah, co- you yeah. know, you gotta be. We're a safety a drug that we're a safety drug enhanced program, yeah. so you can stay safe and sober. Well, you know, I answer, we ain't saying don't do it because yeah. you're not doing it. Don't anyway. pretty much all drugs come from a plant? Yeah, but uh, crack yeah, co- yes, there's no, no, no crack no, no, cocaine plant. Saying, I don't think they, they grow yeah. crack cocaine enough. Well, well, the leaf cocoa. Well, so, so, so it's some, some ingredient. It's of an it. ingredient. Well, is kratom's a plant? Is yeah, it? but kratom's just natural, yeah. What does it look like in it's plant a leaf. form? It's a leaf. Like it's a leaf? Sim- like what kind just of like leaf? Just like an oak leaf or whatever leaf. They dry it up and they grind it up and that's what it is right here. So the only form you could get it in is powder form or leaf form? You can get it in leaf and powder. You're not going to find the crack... Kratom, where you can smoke it in a blast pipe. Only because so to me, personally, like, well, you being a trusted, you know, company and, you know, good reviews, that yeah. is okay to buy it and powder form. But, you know, personally, if I was, you know, doing it myself and, you know, making it, I like You can't make it. You can't make it. You just got to get the leaves, no, right? I mean, if Which I have is the an leaves Indonesia. to crush them. Yeah. All right, well, well let, me, let me ask you. What, I, what are other uh, type of... Uh, health related uh, uh, like cranium what are other things that also kind of provide the same uh, services uh, as opposed to 
cranium. Is anything? Kratom, kratom. Kratom. Kratom is in your head. I, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, thinking, between, I'm thinking, you know what, you know what I'm thinking? Krypton and kryptonite. Krypton. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm that's like saying, cranium, right. yeah. Right. So what are, what are their other type of leafy type of... So I own another company called Green Angel CBD. Okay. And, and we deal with a lot of CBD, and we've been in the CBD business for a long time. Mm -hmm. CBD does help with a lot of symptoms as well, like for joint pain, arthritis. It does help to stop people's panic attack. Uh, when people are withdrawing off opiates, the CBD will help them calm down. Mm -hmm. I have never seen an herb act like Kratom before in my life. These are one of these things. It's like a miracle herb. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've seen thousands and millions of people get saved from this stuff. So, it's, but, uh, but there are others. So maybe not there as... Is, well, not as, not as, not as uh, good as the Kratom, but there is other herbs. Like we deal with CBD oil. We deal with cat claw extract. We deal with something called Shilajit, which is great for like... Uh, Tulajit. No. Shilajit. 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 So what it is, is an Indian tar. Right, and that Indian tar is, is you actually mix it up in a little warm, warm water, mm -hmm. and you drink it every day, mm -hmm. uh, twice a day. And what it does is it gives you that boost of energy. Mm -hmm. It helps with any arthritis or joint pain or anything like that. It's an amazing herb. You got to look it up. It's called shilajit. Shilajit. Yeah, it's like too legit to quit. You know. Oh, okay. So, so now, what do you find? So you learn something new every day. I, I guess so. <laughs> what, it, what like uh, the the cranium? Kratom. Kratom. Cranium. Kratom. The, the cranium. Where do you usually find those type of leaves at? Do you well, find them here in the States? You can't you know? find them here. You might have some people growing some like backdoor kratom mm -hmm. or cranium, whichever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But usually it comes from Indonesia. And that's where you get the most uh, quality plants from. Uh, Indonesia, Thailand. Actually, Thailand actually made it illegal because they want to keep the opium trade alive in Thailand. So they actually made the leaf illegal. But it does grow there. It grows in Indonesia. Uh, it grows in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a wild plant. It's a wild plant. Oh, 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 oh. Delicious, right? Oh yeah, it is. It tastes it, like shit. But yeah, yeah for the, for those that, that you know, because I'm I'm you know drinking some as we as we go. So along. why has it recently only become, I guess, popular? It's always been popular. What, what makes it more and more popular I mean, is the FDA. Maybe? Well, the FDA makes us more popular because they go around and they say it's bad for you. And what happens is when people are starting to wake up with the FDA's bullshit, and they say if the FDA is saying it's bad for you, that means that probably good for you, you know, and that's the way this government is run, you know, we have, we have the pharmaceutical companies that don't like what I do, you know, and they'll try anything in their world to shut me down, because with, with a $50 bag of this stuff, I, I cured someone's addiction, they stopped their Suboxone, they stopped their methadone, they stopped their pain pills, you know, and, and I'm like public enemy number one to the pharmaceutical companies, they hate me. Did you, now, mm -hmm. the thing, now, let me, I'm going to ask you something else, mm -hmm. uh, going back to the, to the, to the, to the plant. Um, how is it, is it, how is it shipped or uh, is it, is it legally usually shipped, uh, the Kratom or is it, do you have to, how do, how do you actually able to transport it from somewhere like Indonesia? So what we do is we hire about five little kids and they transport it on them. No, I no, I'm it. joking. I knew it. I knew it. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I mean, That's I know the way to go. Like, no, no, no. Right no. So, no, yeah, they, 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 they swallow condoms and stuff like that filled with cranium. Cranium. Yeah. cranium. And uh, they bring no. It's it's all legit. I have customs brokers. I have it's 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 a hundred percent legit business. We don't do any shady shit. So it's shipped in through the ports, you know, or mm -hmm. we'll ship it through cost uh, uh, air cargo or United even the United States Post Office. So could oh sorry. So it's nothing. It's nothing really that you have to hide. You know, it's not something where you have to disguise the package and send twenty at one time and hopefully one will get passed. You know, it's, it's not like that. So could I get in trouble? No, hundred percent legal on me. Hundred percent legal. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, well, how do you feel about the, since, you know, the United States is just kind of getting into the marijuana, allow, the allowing marijuana yeah, kind of yeah, game. Yeah, good. And, and, and whatnot. Um, what, are, what, damn it, I guess this girl just threw me off. She threw you off again, Absolutely, didn't she? I know. She's, Sorry. She's, I, and her boobs are not in your face no more. And, so. and, right, I, now I'm totally focused now. <laughs> Shit. No, so, well, let me ask you a question. How do you... There's a, there's a, um, my thing is that in a sense we're just kind of, we're still kind of new to, to, and it's funny that all of the states still haven't, uh, haven't ha passed some type of, have all the states passed some type of. Medical uh, marijuana? Yeah. Medical so some, not all. Not all. I believe not all yet. There's some Bible thumping states that they won't allow it. Right. You know. 
Right. Right. Some states because right, right, some states allow medical marijuana. marijuana. Some some allow recreational, recreational use, and some just don't allow it at all. It's still a Schedule One, I believe, in some states. Well, like where? Do you know uh, New Orleans? New Orleans. No, I think New Orleans no, is no, medical. New Orleans, yeah. Medical or recreational. Well, like you know, we are like Nevada. We know like Nevada. Nevada's is recreational. recreational. Colorado, Washington, recreational. But there is, I know there is some states that they still it's still a Schedule One. The ones that have recreational, they also medical also. Yeah, they can do both. They can, they do, can both. do both. Yeah. Once you get to, well, okay. Do you His thing when they, when they have the medical, it, it's a different grade of weed. It's more pro, it's more cleaner and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. you got the we got the recreational people where it's just it's not as strong as it would the medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just different levels of stuff. Mm -hmm. Do, are you are you a firm believer that 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 the I know you're not you're not really African American. You don't look African American. Sure. So, so I'm gonna assume that you're not African American. But it, it, it's <laughs> why do you think once again it's it's a the, the African uh, American uh, consumer, consumer, I'm not going to say consumer, but which we've also been trying to get into it as well. Why do you think it's so difficult for uh, African Black man to get inside the business? To, to, yes, it is. Only, 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 not, not to sell it. Yeah. We're talking streetwise. Yes, yeah, easy. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we 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 got that. Listen, but no, in terms, I just of, go to Flatbush but, Avenue and buy weed from these Jamaican yeah. guys when I was like eleven years old. So right, so it's always, right. So it's always going to be easy to buy yeah, yeah, on that level. Yeah, yeah. But why is it so difficult to for us for to, a black man for, for us, yeah for us to 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 have a harvest or or, or to, to 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 your opinion? Yeah, I, I don't think it's a black or white thing. The thing is, right now, it's just hard to get into. There is some rappers like Exhibit and Snoop Dogg and uh, a bunch of other rappers. They, they own their own marijuana companies. They mm -hmm. do sell marijuana. Mm -hmm. It's just a pain. I'm trying to get into it. And it, you're not going to be guaranteed to get into it. Yeah. Do I think it's a little racism? Yeah, we live in a fucking racist world, unfortunately. Look what happened to all these Jewish people in, in, in Pittsburgh. Some mm -hmm. guy just started yelling, fuck the Jews, and started killing everybody. Right. Corporate America has taken over the marijuana business now. Mm-hmm. They're coming in, and they got the money to back themselves up. Yeah. You know, we we did a story. That's what it all comes down we, to: we, the we, money. We we did a story for um, Microsoft. Microsoft mm -hmm. actually is in the is in is in the cannabis yeah. business as well. You would you wouldn't think Microsoft is, but I think what uh, Microsoft is a, uh, if I remember correctly, they they I think, but more so they're more they're more products as opposed to the actual cannabis side of it. So it might be more hemp based things. C B D. yeah, yeah. Or, or or it could be like, you know, like the mouses might be made of marijuana. Uh, you know, marijuana hemp. or or but <laughs> Listen, something, we can smoke we, mouses now. Yeah, you know? but, it's but, like do you work and smoke at the same time? Yeah, so so and uh, so I'm sure Apple will be whatnot. So they so they're definitely trying they're definitely flipping how Amazon uh, uh, Amazon, yeah. We'll be in Amazon. On it. So, so, yes. so definitely corporate American uh, companies that you don't think would have any necess any true uh, uh, intention or, or, or not intention, no true involvement because they're you know one's a one's a plant and you know other one is an actual product. But it, it's just interesting how how they are actually coming aboard in some capacity. Oh, well, they're smart. Uh, well, I heard Seven Eleven um, invested like four billion dollars into CBD. To put the products on the shelves of Seven Eleven. Oh wow, is that so? I don't know. This is what I heard. I don't know. I know Coca Cola got their hands on CBD. They're gonna make Coca Cola with CBD now soon too. Now so, see that makes sense. There you go. There's two big. And I who's gonna sell the Coca Cola? Seven Eleven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. Who's yeah, gonna yeah. sell it? But, but, right, but, but, but right. also, they're not but, gonna bring back milkmen. <laughs> yeah, but but but, I, but 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 you can also see like people like Starbucks like that's 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 almost like a no-brainer if they yeah. haven't yeah. gotten got yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing: you got to make sure what kind of CBD you're getting, right? People see CBD and they say, "Oh wow, it's fucking great for you." It's CBD, but no, there's a big difference between CBDs. You know, American world needs to wake the fuck up because mm -hmm. just because it says CBD on it doesn't mean it's good for you. Right? There's certain CBDs that's really like actually harmful for you, like the isolated stuff like that. That isolated stuff is actually bad for you. And it just says it in the word, isolate CBD. Is that the white powder? It is the white powder. And what it is, it's, it, they, it's, it's, in, it's in the name, isolate. It's only CBD in there. You, what you need is the full spectrum to get any kind of health benefits. It's like the CBGs, the CBDs, the CBNs. That's called the full spectrum of CBD, right? Mm -hmm. And you need that to get better. Mm -hmm. Without the rest of those compounds, you're not going to get better. Mm. Do they, 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 uh, are, are, the, are they, use, are they all uh, 
are those uh, those compounds are usually combined? Is it usually no? It's it's in the plant. Okay, it's already in the plant. And, okay. w- and when they do something, when they when they have something called isolate, they they isolate just the CBD itself. Mm-hmm. In reality, you need the whole plant. And usually, how they make isolate is to take the waste of the plant, right? The stem, mm-hmm. the stalk, the seeds, all the shit you throw away. If you're a weed smoker, you know you'll is never like smoke. Ha- a stem. Is it like making ice hash? I don't know. Similar. So what they do is is <laughs> what what they do is they they extract from the waste of the plant, meaning the stem, the stalk, the seed. If you guys are weed smokers, you know you throw away all that shit. You don't want to put that in your body or inhale it, right? Right. So they're taking all the waste, and they're extracting just the waste of the plant. So it's really low grade at the time. You know, it's really low grade shit. And what they do is they just isolate the CBD part. And isolating the CBD part is not going to work. You need the full spectrum. By 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 but by, by isolating that part of. Uh, what uh what uh what benefit what 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 are people losing? You're losing the the medical benefits from it. You're losing the medical benefits for it. If if you're ever gonna buy CBD, look for something full spectrum. Stay away from the isolate CBD. Well, isolate it. What would it come on the packet? Or, it would uh, say ice. Bob. Uh, it would say on the package ninety nine percent pure isolate, or ninety nine percent isolate. It looks like baking soda. You don't want that. Yeah, you want to stay away from Do anything they, like wait, that. So and that's I, the cheap stuff that Coca Cola is actually putting inside their shit right now. You know, it's going to be all isolate stuff. What what type of product? Do would people it... eat isolate? Yeah, they okay. can eat it if they want. Or do they dab it? I don't know. They We're very do far behind. So, 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 we are going to actually take our first. We're going to do a cold break. You ain't going to hear shit for a neck for about a minute. Cool. Because uh, yeah, it's all right, yeah, it's all right, man. We 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 ain't got no music in right now. So it's going to be quiet for just a minute. And we are gonna come. We, we, I, 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 I have to. I, I, I have to. I have to. I have to let one of my, 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 my guests know something. So I have to. That's why I have to be quiet for a second. That's why I have to need a pause. I need a one minute pause. At least audio wise, I need a one minute pause. And so, 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 yeah, just, yeah, just a minute. Cheap over radio show and alternative means psychedelic masturbation. We ain't going far. We're just going to just not. You're not going to hear anything for just a minute. But, uh, so you can keep us just keep watching the weather. You just you see us like your hair mine was moving, but you ain't going to hear nothing else. So we're going to be right back. Trip over radio show. Those are us street media. We don't do that hotel now.
Bucky Bomb show over here. I tell you. And y'all from Red Devil. Uh, uh, Kratom. Uh, 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 Red Devil Kratom. Yeah, Red Devil Kratom and Green Angel CBD. Yeah, Green Angel CBD. So we're just kind of just uh, having a, uh, an elementary discussion pretty much on, on some of the effects of uh, CBD. Oh, there you go, Ray. That's not much better. Uh, and CBD. Um, so it's, uh, so it's, I mean, so it's pretty, it's pretty, I mean, I didn't, I didn't realize that, that Kratom had so much, uh, had so many different, uh, multiple impressions of, uh, healing and whatnot. And, uh, and so, it's, uh, so apparently this is obviously the, the, uh, the leaf, once again, another leaf that, that, uh, so, so kratom, of course, has has some type of, of course, medical benefits and whatnot. Does is it is it is it something that you can you but you can't grow this in in the United States. You, you can grow it, but you're not going to get quality stuff. It takes years for a mature tree to grow, like seventy five years old. Mm -hmm. So that's the trees we get uh, in Indonesia or Southeast Asia. Uh, so if you want to grow it in America, you, you you'll going to be getting low grade stuff. Oh wow! Yeah. So does it so? How do you actually, how, do, how actually do you grow it? It's grown wild. It, it's something that's just grown in Indonesia. They have like miles and miles and acres and acres of these trees just growing. Mm -hmm. It's not something where you sit there like a weed and you put it in your closet and you want it to grow with lights. It doesn't work that way. It has to grow wild to actually get any kind of benefits from that. Interesting question. Because I wanted to piggyback on something that Kim did uh, kind of touch on earlier. Why does it take, why did it take so long for... Uh, I guess just I guess the United States government to kind of finally acknowledge that 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 um, there is some some type of healing properties that cannabis does possess. Or did you think they always knew that? They always knew that. They always knew that. Now they found a way to cash in on it. That's the only thing right now. Just like prohibition. Prohibition. Alcohol was bad for you. Alcohol was bad for you until the government had their fucking hands in it and mm -hmm. they were getting paid for it. Back in the days, they said marijuana turned people into rapists. Bullshit, mm -hmm. you know, because they probably knew the effect, they knew the benefits from it, you know, and they don't want no one else sharing. They don't want to share it with anybody. And uh, now, the, now, now, now they're saying it's the Mexicans that see what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see, Mexicans bringing the weed. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah you know, all the it's the rich stuff. white folks in the hills growing the weed these days. Yeah, just like Sosa, he's yeah. one of them. There you go. I'm saying. So there's a now, uh, now there is how long? So how long do you think? What's what's going to be the next big? movement for for um certain healing properties of uh of um like stuff like kratom 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 cranium cranium <laughs> i mean because i mean it, it, it's already in, in in so many different things now it's in weeds and drinks it's in foods i mean cbd uh, yes cbd yeah i think marijuana is going to be completely legal in new york once they got the system down like having the other states that are recreational the only reason why it's not 100 percent recreational it's because New York City doesn't have the system down yet. The, mm -hmm. the way to tax it, the way it's grown. They still don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Once they got that shit locked down, then all of a sudden it's going to be 100% legal there. Do you think there's something that, that, can you foresee there being another type, uh, that, that there's, uh, can, you, can you foresee it being transferred into another type of product? Yeah, because you got these scientists working on them all the day. Or you mean like uh, let's ban something else? Let's make something else illegal? Is that what you're talking about? No, no, no. I mean, in terms of what, where else do you think that cannabis can can go in terms of healing properties? Uh, cancer, diabetes, uh, skin cancer, uh, mental health, uh, anxiety, addiction. Uh, marijuana is amazing. I don't. I personally don't smoke marijuana. One, because it makes me fucking trip out, and I don't have. To, when I was a kid, I used to be a pothead. Mm -hmm. Now I just hide underneath my blanket anytime I smoke, so I won't touch it. You know, uh, there's a lot of medical benefits to marijuana. There's so much. Uh, I think number one is the cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, you got cancer that people are dying right and left today. You know, and I believe this: that cannabis can heal cancer, and it's proof that it can heal cancer. Well, what, what attributes of cancer can it does it can it heal? I seen it heal all kinds of cancer. I've seen it attack the cells. It'll attack the cancer cells and it'll break it down. You know, the reason why so many people are getting cancer today is because the food we're eating today. You know, there's so many fucking chemicals in the food we're eating. Uh -uh. Touch on that, Kim. Yeah. Other than, yeah. No, no. Yeah, I Yeah. No, okay. My, <laughs> I agree. My, um, I have a family member. She has a cancer of the blood. It's opposite leukemia. And I'm very, very adamant 
on how to eat vegan, natural, non-processed, try CBD, like it can't hurt. And you know, chemo pills are just, you know, they're making you sick, they're making you nauseous. There's this, you know, magic medicine that will help you feel, you know, better and young again and vibrant and you just help. And like every, you know, in every way, laugh, eat, have energy. I mean, there's nothing, you know, wrong with it. And I also believe, you know, it heals. Like, um, you know, he's saying um, with the the Kratom and the CBD, I believe in all of like this holistic stuff and that the government is trying to hold us back because I'm disabled and the only two medicines that help me is THC, CBD. Now I'm going to try Kratom for a bit and see if that starts helping me. And... Um, the, they don't cover that, my insurance. And my insurance also doesn't cover a chiropractor, which I have to pay cash for. Well, a lot of the insurances so, don't cover chiropractors. Yeah, well, they, they only, don't consider them real doctors. Well, well they're really not Well, doctors. I've been to, like, so many real doctors and specialists, and they don't seem to know what's wrong with me. And I'm in excruciating pain, and I refuse to go down the pill road. Okay, because before I come back, but I one, I want, one more thing I do want to ask you. Uh, tell us, because you just got your, your medical card. Your I medical just got marrow. my medical card. Tell, tell us what, the, what that's like. What, it, what, do you, what does it cover? Uh, uh, does it cover all different type of cannabis-based uh, medicines or a certain type of treatments? Or um, there's still things that you still can't kind of use? or I, You could um, – I, I don't know all the laws. It's very new to so. me. He might know a little bit better from the Kratom, Red Devil Kratom Company, mm -hmm. on um, Green Angel CBD. Um, I don't really know the laws, but I don't think you could buy flowers in New York, but I think you could buy it in other states, or you could travel from other states with it if you have your card. Um, I'm going to be reading up you know, on the laws and posting them as I go along, and I'm going to be document me going to the dispensary in New York City and making my first um, purchase. Okay. So that I'll be able to get back to you, I guess, a little bit more on that one. Oh, what, were you gonna, what were you going to say, John? Yeah, so the medical marijuana college doesn't get anything for free. All it says is you can go buy marijuana from the dispensary. That's all it means. And you got to approved by a doctor to buy it. And that's hard because it, because there's, because they're not really listed in. I, I know I know at one time, uh, uh, New York State didn't have the doctors listed. You really have to really. Yeah, you gotta bust your ass. Really to research find to find them. Listen, I, I walked into this. I don't have a medical marijuana card, but I've seen the prices in these dispensaries. It's fucking insane. Give us give <laughs> an example. All right, so I sell CBD vape at Green Angel, right? The Green Angel CBD I sell. It's a 500 milligram. I sell it for sixty dollars. They have the same vape, which less quality, in the dispensaries for $150. Jeez. So they're raping you with the taxes. Mm -hmm. You know, and the prices of weed and the, the pens over there, they're just overpriced. Reason being is now you're getting taxed. Mm -hmm. So first off, the government's taking 30%. Then, other, then, then again, you're getting hit with another 30%. So they got to up the price. Uh, people are still not even buying from dispensaries. Or, or just like the regular Joe Schmo from... Upper West Side is going to the dispensaries, but the normal person is just going to buy off the dealer. There's a, I think, how many, how many dispensaries are there in New York? I think there's three. Three or four. I, I think three. I think, yeah. I think one's in Long Island. One's I think in one, Queens. One's in Queens. And one's in, in Manhattan. Now, I know. Yeah. yeah, one's in the city. One's in Queens. Yeah. Uh, one's in Long Island. I th was it there one in Staten Island? I don't I know. I don't. But know. I know the three. I know definitely the city. Definitely Queens. Definitely Long Island. Yeah. And when I, and yeah, you, like you said, once again, it's it's just it's it's just for I guess. High price. Pretty much high price weed. You want to feel fancy. You want to go with the dispensary. You got your card, you know, and that's all it's for. Well, other states, I heard, um, also accept the New York card if you call in advance. Yes, talking to the mic, it's so much uh, louder. That's what I heard. Other states, other than, like, if you have a New York card, you can go to other states and get your medicine and travel back with them. But I don't really know the laws on that yet either. Do you know <laughs> these laws? No, I don't know. I believe if you can't transport weed. Yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, like 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 you like like you you can't if you you can't go from one state that let's say if you, this state has it but the state over next to it doesn't so you won't be able to no, transport. Yeah. No, I saw an article on Facebook. I should have followed it. <clears throat> no, to if you. it's illegal in one state. Something you can't. about LAX letting people travel. No, no, you can't travel weed on the plane. 
Um, I did. I did see that 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 story as as oh, as, did. as well. You I, I did. I did. I did. I did see that story. Uh, I, and maybe and maybe and maybe it is once again. Maybe maybe the, it's a the, special the, the How much it is? Maybe is it on you or is it in your your bag? Uh, I, I I I don't know. That's well, no. I saw the article. And not you know. Now, now, if, now if you're asking me about cocaine, I then I can tell you no, you can't really uh, travel with it. So. No, no, cocaine's a cocaine free uh, free zone. Yeah, I know. On the plane, so you can't you can't unless you're hiding it in the body or someplace. Yeah. So, um, do you know anything about do you know anything about some of the uh, st- uh, cannabis stocks? Well, I hear they're soaring. I hear they're yes, soaring. They are. You got the Canadian guys that just came in. Yeah, the they just they just uh, started there. Yeah, and there's booming right now, but it, everybody's scared because it's still illegal federally. That's the fucking issue. So yep. the federal government can say, you know what? I want to take this. And they can. They can go into any dispensary and just take the shit if they want to. Mm. It's scary. It's a scary situation. I, I know the stock's, the stock's going to go up. It goes up. It goes down. These guys in Canada just made it legal over there and they're already out of weed. So imagine how high the stock is going up right now. Mm. I, know, I know you're not. So what, what, would, what is a, a factor for you to want to invest in, in stock, uh, well, in terms of cannabis, of course. Mm-hmm. It's a fact. I've got to make sure the company's going up. They're making money. You mm-hmm. know, that's the main. If you're going to invest in stock, you're investing in stock for a reason. You're not investing in stock just to invest stock. You want to make money with it. Mm-hmm. At least I do. I, I, I personally don't play with the stock market. Mm-hmm. I look at it as a form of gambling. Uh, but people, people have. People have, and they bought the marijuana stock, and some people became millionaires from it already, you know? Do you think there's still room to be made money in the marijuana stock? Yeah, it's a growing business. It's a growing business. But again, you're in a dangerous gray area. It's still not 100% legal federally. So that's that's an issue. Listen, most of these marijuana dispensaries, they can't put their money in the bank. They're they're walking away with bags full of money every day. Mm -hmm. Does do... Before I go back to... uh, Go back... I go back to a healing question. Mm-hmm. Um, either, so each state has the same, the same. Uh, it's the same type of taxing uh, equation. Uh, I guess it, it depends on which depends state on which you're state. in. Yeah, New York, yeah. of course, is going to be higher. Your yeah, one's higher, as opposed to maybe like Colorado. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm uh, sure. Is, is, it might be a little bit lower. Um, why is it now going back to you say it was not federally uh, accepted everywhere? Why is it? But why is it available? How that 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 dynamic so interesting? If it's not if it's not fully funded, but well, if it's not fully approved federally, how is it able to? Well, still each each state passes its own law, but at the end of the day, the federal will have its own call. If the federal law wants to come down and start squashing people, they can, and you can't do nothing about it. Mm. You can't do nothing about it. Remember, it's the federal government. Each state has their own laws, but the federal government come down and enforce their law whenever they want to. That's true. So it's a scary situation, you know. You can't value it. Well, no, I guess. Going back to my, now it's, now it's going to my, um, now I'm going back to my healing question. How come it's so almost, I guess I'm going to say almost instantaneous when you apply the oil to an ailment? Why does it almost seem or uh, appears it's, it's almost... Instantaneous. instantaneous. Yeah, well, your body absorbs it. You got to remember, your skin's the most, the biggest organ on your body. Mm-hmm. The skin. People don't, don't think the skin's an organ, but it is. And what happens is you put it on your skin, your body absorbs it right away. We have pores, right? Mm-hmm. So that's why people sometimes, if they ever do acid and they leave the acids too close to the, like LSD, they're all of a sudden tripping because that's where your body absorbs it. Right. Same thing with marijuana. Mm-hmm. You know? I did that shit once. Yeah, me well, too. No, yeah, I, said, I did it a few times. Yeah, that shit had me going for six hours. Ugh, yeah. Six? It, you got some cheap stuff that was going for six. Yeah, it, it, you have to... Never do the brown. Why not? I said... I don't know. They said it at Woodstock. There was like brown tags. <laughs> why are you it's like you, a quote. Why are you have to be getting all these, these hearsay things you be hearing? Well, it's just something that I knew. What did you know you heard it? You heard it? Little fun fact, but oh. I don't know from where. <laughs> but now there's Google. You could find out. Yeah, Google, Google, Google. Yeah, See well, where the brown acid came from. Yeah, don't do the brown. Series. What happened with brown acid? Some bad I'm shit. I'm saying they don't. They don't make the good shit no more. <laughs> I'm saying, where else they do now? World now. Um, I was abroad. How would how do some of the the countries abroad? Uh, uh, damn it. I don't know what's, what's going on. You know, now, 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 now I'm starting. Now I'm abroad. starting to race. You, you drank now. too much kratom. Do you look yeah, about, so now, now I'm all over the place. Oh, do other that. countries do kratom and CBD? Is that what you're trying to ask? 
No, but okay. <laughs> that will buy me time to let pick up. I was getting ready to fucking ask for you. Go ahead. You can answer that one. It will come back to me. So what's the question? How am I going to well, answer I, it? Wait, I actually have a, a – well, the same question but a little different. That about the other countries, but another question. You've said about the Kratom and the CBD, you know, pain, you know, but the Kratom, is it only for people that have a heavy addiction to painkillers? What about for somebody that has chronic pain and is looking for relief? Yeah, it's not only for people coming off opiates. It could be used as a pain reliever. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be used as an energy uh, booster. It could be used as someone with post-traumatic stress. Now, I deal with a lot of vets uh, that came out of the military, and a lot of them are fucked up from what they've seen. They take a green van, and it works great for their post-traumatic stress disorder. So Kratom is not only for addiction. It, it's used for multiple different things. Mm-hmm. You know, it's used for multiple different things. Is there, is there a certain, would you, would you recommend it more so for younger people? What about older people? What older, like older people that, that really suffer from, from pain? But absolutely. Would, would you, would you? Would like you, our ancient asses. Well, no, no, like people that are in their 60s and their absolutely. 70s. Well, a majority of my customers or my clients, they're actually in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, and they're elderly women. Mm-hmm. that have joint pain and arthritis and the doctors got them fucked up on pills and they put down the pills and they, they take the Kratom. Like, I have a huge following and a lot of them are elderly women mm-hmm. and elderly women do have a lot of pain issues, you know, mm-hmm. when you get to that age and elderly men have pain issues and, and they rather take a natural herb than pop a narcotic in their system. Did you know that, here's a fun fact for you, and this is something that's verifiable. Did you know, Sosa, that, um, that there is a high influx of... Uh, sexual diseases going on at nursing homes and whatnot because they're fucking a lot a lot of them are are, are, are fucking listen good for them I mean, you know so see cream is, is listen, good for them. i'm not going to go to an old age home and i try to get laid i'm, I'm just, just saying that. You know, well i'm you, happy you that i that? found out about this and that we had the opportunity to um try this on air what did we do well yeah we tried a little bit you know I'm, and I'm, i mean this guy is the real deal did I not come through with this? Because, like, if I'm going to, I always say, like, if you're going to do something, do it right. Well, don't, um. Yeah, we, we, well, I, I, I do, yes. We, we, we'll give you credit. Usually we, we, we don't go barking off that, you know, I, I, I bought somebody here, da, 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 da. No, well, no, well, I, I don't mean like that. I'm thank just saying, you. I, well, appreciate we, well, you, I, I wanted appreciate. to help everybody. That was the main thing. I didn't well, mean to come off like that. Well, I meant, you know, this guy is the real deal, and I want to help, you know, people. Google me, baby. Google me. I've lost a lot of people. <laughs> I've lost a lot of people in my life to drug overdoses, painkillers. I mean, a lot of people. He, this guy's from my neighborhood, you know? Like, well, you know, we know, we, not know each other, but, you know, from Brooklyn. I just met him today. I just yeah, met from him Brooklyn. Yeah, and I'm, I'm very impressed <laughs> over here because there has to be an alternative. Because, I mean, I don't even ask my doctors for medicine like that. Yeah, well, so, look, all, all the extra shit you get, pass it over this way. I can say, like, you know, No, I really, I don't believe in it. It's... Like I said, I was open and honest. I mean, I've been through it a few times, and that's not the route for me. What? Um, why are doctors not prescribing more? I, I know, I, I know that it's it's the, it's the the comeback that of course they want, but why? Um, but why outside of that? Because I'm I'm sure there still would be comeback if they did prescribe stuff like cream and, and. Well, they 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 actually stopped all the the, the kickbacks. A while back ago. Oh, I mean, kickbacks on the kratom. Yes. Well, well, the, I mean, not the kickback, but I mean the comeback. Because, come like, back. when it comes when it comes to medicine, I'm gonna keep prescribing you this particular type of medicine because I know you're gonna always want to come, come back and get some more. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I do. I'm fortunate enough to have doctors that do trust me, and they do send me their 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 clients and their patients, and they tell them try kratom; it'll help you for the pain. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, what's going on is a huge opioid epidemic, and what happened is the the government changed. And they put a stop to all the opiates. Uh, mm-hmm. People are getting cut off of opiates. And doctors are telling people, some, which, which I got to give it to them, not all doctors, but some doctors are telling their, their patients to use Kratom for pain, mm-hmm. which is amazing to me. You know, I, I find that really, really exciting to see that. You know, I have doctors that call me all the time and ask mm-hmm. me about myself, and they said they're going to send me patients, which is amazing. I, I really ap- uh, applaud them. Mm-hmm. I applaud them big time. But, uh, the FDA does not want this around. So the FDA comes around every once in a while and they try to make it illegal. Mm-hmm. Kratom is illegal in a few states. It is illegal where the pharmaceutical companies mm-hmm. uh, have a stronghold in the government. Do you know that. what some of those states have? Yeah, it's be. Arkansas, it's uh, Wisconsin, it's Rhode Island, uh, and one more other state where it's illegal in there. Uh, and again, it, it's because the pharmaceutical lobbyists, and they already fight for the law. You're dealing with a company, a pharmaceutical company is a trillion dollar industry. 
So so it's so it's not so it's not legal in those states. Is it due to because it's from another country? Is it due to They're it, saying it's, it's not proven that that it uh, it's not truly proven by FDA that this has any healing properties? Well, pretty much that. They're saying it's killing people. You know, if I thought for one fucking second I was hurting somebody, I wouldn't sell this stuff. I'm in a business to help people, not hurt people. You know, uh, I suggest anybody Google uh, Kratom success stories or Kratom saved my life. Mm -hmm. And look at all the beautiful testimonies on that. Well, the government's mm -hmm. saying it's killing people. So every day there's a new bullshit story about Kratom from the government and the FDA. And they don't want it. Bottom line is it's helping people. And I'm getting people off of pills. And you got these pharmaceutical companies that don't like what I do. They, they hate me. Well, please, I hope I don't. I don't want to. I, I, I don't want to get a text from 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 Kim talking about they killed you, John. You, you, you feel yeah, dead they somewhere. They killed John. John overdosed on yeah, kratom. Oh, exactly. All, all of a sudden, out the blue, no. he just decides to just he got it. robbed. But no, I was very you know. serious. All his jewelry about was still on. I've I've spoken with him a few times, and I was like hesitant, like to try it, even though because, like I said, um, I just want something that's natural to help me. You can't. Okay. It's like you know the other, the other lifestyle. It's no way for anybody to get by. Okay. Kim looks relaxed right now, doesn't she? Does. She? Listen, take bit. more kratom. I'm just saying. <laughs> Dramatically, you did. If, if you if you if you if, if, prior to the show starting, Kim was 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 just Miss McMouth, just brr, brr, just just talking talking talking. Well, but since the, then, she's she's. It's the disease. Oh no. It gets me racy. That's why I'm interested in the kratom to slow down. I mean, as funny as it is, is like I go off, but it's a real, real problem in my life. Like I really need something to shut down. Yeah, so. you ain't lying, boy. Because <laughs> no, because I get emotional. Boy. No, I get emotional. Up. Now I'm gonna get emotional because uh, I um, I just got my medical card. I didn't think I'd live to see this day. Kim is really getting emotional, <laughs> Kim. Oh. No, really, I didn't think I because I like I said I lost a lot of people, and uh, I don't want that to happen. And I don't want to be called no junkie uh, drug addict for smoking weed. You know, like, so I got my medical card. And also, I spoke with the guy from the medical card company. The one that actually made the card? Um, the well, paper? the one who, the organization that represents, that what's helps it, what's you get it. What's the organization? It's called Pounds, and they're from California. Pounds. And oh. they're now in Brooklyn. Do you have your, do you have your medical card house. with you? Um, yeah, I, it's in my phone. But, um, oh, okay. well, yeah, they're going to mail it to me in the mail, but they, they give you, your, like, your card if you're eligible. And I told, you know, the truth. I didn't hide anything. I said, do you want my doctor's numbers? Because when you have, you know, medical issues and you're disabled, yeah, like, everything's connected. Mm -hmm. So, basically, you're either going to get your drugs off the street or they're going to, you know, give you what you need. And I really got to the point where I'm only getting, like, Tylenol codeine. And I, I've never taken any of this stuff. Roxy's and like you know these other things I've taken you know Parkinson's um Tylenol but not like a lot not more than like two three or you know the recommended doses maybe if you broke something I had a broken nose what which I went through then you took a few more but I don't like it oh, okay. so this is like I mean this is an alternative that could save people's lives like I had a heart attack oh. I mean I tried you know getting relief the other way for anxiety and depression and there was there's no relief in pills there's no relief in opioids and this is why i guess we came together for this discussion today oh well thanks for adding that well, well i'm just saying because it's very important that people know that there's other alternatives than buying pills and doing heroin and dying yes, there is. it is it's it's real it happens oh, yeah. To piggybacking off of uh, what Kim said, trying to find out where Which can one? I piggyback on Which part? something that she said. Exactly. I just had <laughs> trying to find somewhere where I could piggyback on. Um, is it also good for? Uh, and you know, before I even say that, but but I, I but it, it 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 it's good to see that 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 people really are trying to find alternatives mm -hmm. uh, to to not be so addictive to certain things so so it's it's uh, you know it's you know united states has one of the highest opiates uh epidemic use, epidemic you know out of all the, the other countries i mean we're if we're not the top we're one no, of the we top. are the top oh that's what i thought yeah uh, uh so it's, it's so it's it's uh it's 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 encouraging 
that it still would still would take a drug to to kind of beat a drug. Well, it's not even really a drug. Well, I don't it, consider kratom a drug. It's not yeah. a drug, right? Supplement. But um, do you know that if they use kratom in, in in rehab places, do they use this kind of? Do they use? A there is some rehabs that do apply kratom, but then there is some rehabs that demonize it. There is some rehabs that demonize it. They go on what, what the FDA says and the pharmaceutical companies, what they say and all the bullshit they plaster us with. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually sometimes treat me like a drug dealer also, which is crazy. They, they, will, they will seize my money. They will seize my shipments. They will shut down every pay app I had, which they did already. You know, it's fucked up how it, you have two sides to it. You have the government trying to crush you. And then you have the regular Joe Schmo that's telling you this stuff saved my life. Right. You know, it's kind of it's, it's a hard it's a hard battle to fight. Is, are there uh, are there activists out there that we do? There's the American Kratom Association. Uh, they fight. They have lobbyists. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, senators on our back, like Orrin Hatch and uh, and a bunch of others that help us out. Uh, we actually Orrin Hatch is a supporter. Uh, Orrin Hatch is a supporter of Kratom. Absolutely. Wow. He's the head of the supplement fact or something. He's the head of uh, some kind of like organization with supplements from the government. Wow. Yeah, he's on our side. Believe it. He's a good guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. 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 Maybe you never know. I, I, I thought he was on some some uh, no, NRA not, shit. No, but, no, you know, no, no. no. He, 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 listen, I don't like getting political, but he helped us. Put it this way, you know what I mean. He might be into NRA, but that's, that's his own shit. I, right? I, I know, just fuck yeah. with you, no. Statch. You know, um, does he? Does did, did he? Did he? Did he? Does he? Is he a supporter? I mean, does he? Is he a user of it as well? To your knowledge, does, I, he, does uh, he use it? I don't know. I don't know. But there was rumors around them. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about other uh, everyday uh, type of pains? Like, uh, can you use it for like migraines? Yes. Can you use it for for uh, monthly? Yes. Uh, uh, Menstrual, absolutely. Menstrual in, in certain capacities. Anxiety, uh, arthritis, joint pain, uh, post traumatic stress disorder, ADD to calm down. There's multiple different strains. There's a green strain, there's a red strain, and there's a white strain. So the green strain is that boost of energy, some pain relief, a little euphoric. Mm -hmm. Then you got the white strain, which you're drinking right now, and it gives you a nice little boost depending on how your body helps it out, right? Mm -hmm. And then there is a red vein, which is used to relax and pain-killing effects, as you can tell on Kim. She's more relaxed now. Mm -hmm. you know, I uh, think I mixed. She's mixing. <laughs> she's mixing. So, and, and the thing is sometimes your body... <laughs> Mexican. Uh, so <laughs> Mexican. So sometimes your body will affect you a different way. Like a white vein that's supposed to jack you up, it actually makes me relaxed, which is what you're drinking. Mm -hmm. And then a red vein will jack me up instead of relaxing me. Mm -hmm. It's all in how your body affects it. But but it's used for many different things. I see people take it every day, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, they take it for whatever reason they want to take it. Even if it's a, if to supplement something for something else, mm -hmm. go for it. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to kill you. The most that happens if you take too much Kratom is you get nauseous. Yeah, I was getting ready to ask you that. You throw up. And you don't touch it no more. Um, is, there, uh, is there any, what are some side effects? Side effects is uh, if, you get, if you take too much, you're going to get nauseous. Okay. If you take too much, you're going to get constipated. Mm-hmm. That's, and why, you take that's a, why I keep farting. Yeah, you keep farting. I smell it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was you, Kim. Now he, he, he copped out and said yeah, it was him. It was me. I'm sorry. Constipated? I mean, no, I mean <laughs> farting. Oh. <laughs> you, you really couldn't tell? Wet or dry. Well, well, at least, you know, it, it doesn't have the odor yet. So it's not protruding. Kratom doesn't have odor farts. You get yeah. some nice clean farts from the Kratom. Cranium. Is See? See? Kratom, uh -huh. well, it's, I guess it's vegan and vegetarian. <laughs> well, it's a plant. <laughs> so. Non-GMO. Made from the best stuff. It's a leaf. Of, yes, of and course. So it's basically, it's either you, you eat it in powder form in your mouth. Yeah, just like you took it. Like, yeah, that's how I tried it tonight. I took a teaspoon, a flat teaspoon. Tastes um, like ass. Two of them within like maybe 45 minutes of each other. And I feel good and relaxed. And my back is feeling just, good. It's yeah. not like in pain that bad. So it did have a good effect on me. Yeah, it's not something you want to abuse. You can see how it tastes. It's not something you want to... And um, I... So, and what other forms? That's the whole point of. It comes in powder only. It's an oral use. You no, I mean, it. like, I know, you, like, well, there's a powder that you could take it in a teaspoon, but can it be, um, you could drink it. Can, uh, does it come in capsules? It comes or? in capsules. It come, you can make a tea out of it. It's all oral, so it has to be ingested. There's no other way to take no, it. No, that, well, that's what I meant. I'm, can, you could do capsules. Yeah, you can, you can cap them. 
Mm -hmm. You can make yourself a cup of tea from it. You can boil it. You can uh, do all kinds of stuff with it. But it all has to be taken orally. Mm. There's no boofing it or sticking it in your nose or injecting it in your veins. That Does it work. like activate it heat or cold? Or? No, it's not weed. It's not THC. Oh. Hmm. Activate. Well, certain things they need to be like, like if you drink tea, right, you need to activate it with the hot water to get the... What is what says activate? <laughs> Some new <laughs> shit. Yo. Activate the cranium. Yeah. Does it... <laughs> does it... Um, also, can, well, the, Kim, you killing me. What about, uh, like, uh, things like, uh, does it have healing properties for your stomach, like stomach aches? It or, does. Or, it or, does have healing properties for your stomach. It also has for ulcerative colitis, which is mm. another reason that people take the Kratom and it helps them. It's also great for diabetes. You might want to Google Paul Kemp Kratom Diabetes. Mm -hmm. uh, he talks all about how Kratom helps people with diabetes. Okay. Uh, it's one of these miracle herbs. It's kidneys? Just, anything about kidneys? Or? Kidneys, I really haven't done any studies for it. Uh, has it caused problems with kidneys? No. I'm 100% uh, healthy. I go to the doctor all the time. Uh, and I get my liver checked and everything, and I'm 100% healthy. That's that girl right there. That's the girl right there? With nice pink hair? Hey, Kay Kapoor's in the house! And look, look what she has on her knees. Oh, so this is perfect. So, uh, of course, it, it, oh, who, give me one hand. I'm going to switch. Yeah, you have to, honey. No, no, of course. So go that way. Okay. Let me just take that. So, so Kay Kapoor just came in from her, from her, her engagement. Thing, and she came in perfectly. Yeah, that, that's why I'm, I'm buying you time. Uh, just you know, until you sit down. So, Kay just, uh, and it's funny because we were just we were just talking uh, to bring you up to speed for those that have been watching. Of course, everyone knows Kay Kapoor. Kay Kapoor is the co-host of Trip Over Radio Show and the host of uh, the Cupcake Caddy Radio Show. And um, and we were going over. We were talking about cranium, which you had. Kratom. Kratom. Which we have, we have some for you. What? And we have cream for you. It's a, it's a. <laughs> it's my best friend in the world. So, so we were actually talking about kratom. What's that? Kratom. Oh, okay. yeah. Hi, everybody. Hey. John, this is this is Cake of Pork. Hey, hey. I'm John. Hi. Of of of. Uh, There's a lot of strange substances going on. Yeah. All kinds of stuff on the table. You came to a party. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah. So we were actually just talking about kratom. Kratom is actually from a leaf. It's, it's a, a leaf. Um, Can you spell it? Because I'm visual. I like K-R-A-T-O-M. Yeah, kratom. Kratom. Got it. Right. And kratom, it, kratom. Actually, and, it, and it's a leaf that's actually you'd find out in like a, abroad, like Indonesia, mm -hmm. out in the jungle-ish. Like, yeah, no, you jungle. Know, you got it right. Like, uh, jungle. And it, it, it comes like this? No, no. Yeah. It comes it's a leaf. leaf. It's a leaf. And then we grind it. There you go. Mm -hmm. We, the we right let track. it dry out first. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we do this. Yeah. Special. Oh, Cake yeah. pours on fire already. I'm saying she 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 gets. It. So that's what I was I was holding it down for you because I you know I'm just learning these things. Uh -huh. So so pretty much what it does it has all these different uh, healing properties mm. uh, that you know it, it, we, we're going over some that you know can heal these knees. Yeah, they will. You know, let's we'll hook you up. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so we actually usually have uh, the, the, the demonstration. So, since I don't have any of those lingering pains, Kay is uh, suffering from. I let well, I let Kay talk about what's going on with her. Um, I'm not old and decrepit. What's going on is what had happened was, um, you know, I had an, I had a situation and I I beat her up. Oh, <laughs> he sorry. beat me up and. Sorry. I tore my both my ACLs and, and meniscus. Trying to run away. From so me. it caught you know. So I have so like I I think I had a little early arthritis before that, but then when it when the meniscus and the ACL tore it just made it even worse. So supposedly they're just gonna t you know sew up the tears and I should be relieved from a lot of this pain. Um, I haven't done that yet. Okay. So let's uh, let's get you out of pain. Want to get out of pain? Listen, yeah. listen to Dr. John. Naturally, I'll get you out. You, you want you want us to you want to, you want to come over here? This, yeah, uh, just uh, let me get a oh, cup. Okay, let me get a cup. Uh, we're going. So I've sure. done. I'm doing everything to make sure. That you have to all talk my into friends, the mic, sweetie. Oh, I'm doing everything to make sure all my friends heal naturally because I care about everybody. And let me get a straw. Oh, we care about you too. Okay. So what's Aww. gonna so what's getting ready to happen is is John is going to actually give 
uh, Katrina some cranium. Kratom. Kratom. Cranium. Right. And nothing that needs to go in your rectum. No, no Oh, for good. That. We're not gonna I, wasn't, I didn't want it. If, if We're not going to move Kratom today. So, right. So, and, wait, and, wait, wait. And Does it typically go in the rectum? No. Can it depends on what and oh, how drunk right. you are. No, no thanks. Yeah. And, and um, actually, you're gonna you're gonna you know drink a little bit of. Am it. I? You yeah. are. What am I? Okay, co, co, like straight up. Well, I'll, I'll I'll let you explain. Yeah, what, let me let me hook her up. Let me hook her up. So we're gonna give you a red vein kratom, and it's gonna take away any arthritis, any pain you have in your knees. So by the time we're like done right talking, now. you are gonna start gumping up on the table and so dancing. Actually, so and I'm gonna like, get Hallelujah, up. I'm here. So I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna and I'm gonna sit I'm over there. Up. I'm gonna go sit over there. Straight up. Or, I don't believe it. Or or should we? say? Or should or should Kate come on on that side? Is it gonna make? Is it gonna make me high? No, no, no. I don't sell anything that gets you high. Good, I'm great. In business, I'm in the business of helping people, so it's not like a Percocet or opiate or stuff like All right. that. And so it's not like a CBD. CBD. No, this works faster okay. than CBD. So what, what's gonna happen is, uh, is K is gonna come on that side. Just you want me to go on that yeah, side? Whatever you, you want me to do. I, I guess it'd be better. What's, what, what, what would be better for for K to go over there or come over here? Cause she's gonna, she's gonna. I'm gonna hook her up. Oh, okay. So I mean, you want me to go on that side? Show what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, why don't you come on this you side? Cause it. you can actually talk. You guys you said this already. Mic. Just go ahead and do, do it already. And, I, and no, don't worry about it. What's this? Is that, that's vodka. I feel like that makes me feel better. Can you this mix this? Makes with, me so happy. Can you mix kratom with vodka? I don't think that's what? I don't want it then. You crazy? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you suggest it? Uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. Pass me those headsets for the time. Well, I can't hear. Well, no, no, he'll, he'll, no, no he's gonna take those. Those What's behind your ear. Take. Sorry, oh, that's yours. Yeah, yeah. So oh, okay, here. That's What's for you. This? Give me this, so What's I can this? actually, actually hear. What it's a cigarette, you? girl. I have the. Oh my God. Okay. Cranes. So what's gonna happen is, is uh, John is actually going to hook up a cranium. Uh, kratom. Kratom. Damn, a kratom. Uh, yeah, I'm, that's why I I'm said going, I'm visual too. Look at it. I'm visual. Uh, she's gonna get, she's gonna Are be hooked up a kratom uh, drink, yeah, and he'll yeah. walk her through what she's gonna be experiencing, feeling, and stuff like that. So you go ahead. You, you know, right. tell me what you're gonna do. Check. You hear me? Yep. All right. Here you fine. Cool. So, have you taken Vicodin or Percocet lately? Talking to them. Not lately. No. Not lately. It's been about five, six years. All right. Good. So this is gonna help you a little more. So this is gonna we're gonna give you a smaller dose. Uh, let me ask you. Do you hear my microphone? I hear myself a little low over there. It's but it's a leaf, so it's all natural. So I'm not gonna yeah, have not, any like no, palpitations. I'm not gonna, not gonna or, hallucinate. I'm not gonna have to call an air. Well, that, that's unfortunate. Or, I would like to hallucinate. Well, now, so let's hook you up. Let me show you what it is. So late, kratom is a leaf. We're gonna get you a red vein kratom, right? Mm-hmm. And this red vein kratom is gonna help you for your pain. So we're gonna start you off with a tiny dose, and then we're gonna wait about 15, 20 minutes. If you're not feeling any pain relief, we'll add a little more to your dose. Okay. All right. Don't worry. You're not gonna start tripping or anything. We're not gonna. What's it taste like? It's like bullshit ass. Yeah. So it doesn't taste good. No, it doesn't taste good. No, it didn't. No, it tastes good. No, it doesn't like taste. Like tea. Good. Yeah, it's just like a it's mouthful. Like of, it's like tea. Yeah. It's like tea. green tea. Okay. Yes. I bet. Yes. It's just it like taking the leaves and just sticking it in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like yeah. something like that, and it didn't leave a bad taste. Okay. Good. But let's hook you up. We'll, we'll see what's going. On. So I need. Some water. Um, she's like, I've tasted worse. <laughs> I mean, I'm hook you up with a starter, I've though. had I, semen, and semen tastes pretty bad. I, uh, this is way better. Well, I, I, I thought know. I fixed my diet. Or diet yeah. Ew, I uh, listen. Uh, Ooh, that's a lot, isn't it? A lot. It, it appears a lot, but it's, it appears a lot. it's fluffy. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's not good, clumpy. Fluffy yeah. Cocaine. yeah. No. See, see, people that you know, it's people that can right? appreciate the coke art. It's. Loosened me up since we've been sitting here. And she calmed down also, which is no good. like like yeah. my you know, body oh, is like wild. it's <laughs> cracking yeah, he's and just recently I feel like he's just a little looser. Can I get the straw, please. Oh, we're gonna destroy. Do, 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 do you need to cut that much? it? No, no, I'm only gonna only cut it in three ways. And we're been oh, 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 okay. That's a, yeah. So let's give it a, a nice mix for you. You ready for the cranium? Not, not well, necessarily. If not you necessary. try this, then we'll do that. But you have to wait a few minutes. You know what I mean for this. To <gasps> oh, right. I got okay. the edible candies too. I, I can't wait for the Tylenol those, But I'm waiting. Anything? In and over this is going to help with my headache. I just listen. I don't suffer from headache. headaches at all. I haven't had a headache in years. A headache. Headache in a long time. It's tonight. I have one. Are you drinking? Yeah, it's called Kim. No, I didn't. No, you got to drink water. That's why you're getting a headache. If you're not drinking enough water, most likely. Because I haven't had a headache in a long time. Did you chill out with the water today? Did you all of a sudden stop drinking enough water? 
Uh, no, I, I had some. Uh, maybe maybe some not as much as I should have. Drink this. Tell me how it tastes. I don't know if I want to do this. Don't worry, drink the gonna... damn thing. Yeah, come on. We all drink Like what, somewhere. like a shot or like a sip? Like, mm. No, no, I don't suggest you sip it. You no, just it's not one of those just like drink cognac it, yeah. drinks where you just want to sip it all night long. It just tastes like tea. That's not it, tea. No, it doesn't. It damn sure don't. <clears throat> it needs more water. Yo, we're gonna, you're going to drink a glass. Or you're going to drink a bottle of water right after that. This is, it tastes like mud. Yeah, it's if muddy. Anybody it's, ever had it's it like muddy. muddy water. It's earthy with a note of nuts. Yeah. <laughs> nuts? No. Yeah. It's like muddy water. No, this, it's, it is very bitter. There is an aftertaste. I don't know why you all lied. I don't think so. I didn't lie. I, I told you it tastes like that. Yeah, yeah, you did say. I don't know. I thought I, it was. I didn't say it I tastes it like that. Can you get this in a capsule, maybe? Yeah, yes. we can do it in capsules. We yes. guessed it already. I think I need, or like. Maybe I could mix it with tea, like a, a, a you can. an herbal, like like ginger tea. Maybe. You can. That might give me life. Everybody's yeah. thinking Molly. Have you ever had comfrey? Comfrey what? Oh, comfrey herb? A, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can smoke it, too. You can drink it. You can smoke it. Yeah, so yeah, comfrey yeah. is bitter like this, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and so is, like, um, horny goat weed. Have you had, have you had that? Horny goat weed? What is weed? that? These are all, all m- er- med- medicinal medicines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, John, they don't know. No, they, they don't, don't know. know nothing about this. John, I, this I know about. I know about. Talking about cocaine and Molly, though. Yeah, Molly, yes. Molly. I'm at the bottom. What should I do? That's this is. It. Just wait. Drink a, I want you to drink a bottle of water. You have to stay hydrated with it. Oh. Drink it. You'll be fine. Drink this right now. Uh, drink a bottle of water. Let's leave that for. Let's wait a little bit. All right. So the entire bottle. So you're gonna be dancing right now, and you're like, you John, so? I love you. Oh. Where was this all my life? And uh, oh my you're going to feel your pain's going to go away. I put money on it. We're going to wait about 20 minutes, right? Mm-hmm. If the pain's not gone after 20 minutes, you're going to add a little more. Like I said, that's your starting dose. So you always want to start low, then work your way up. Okay. I think it was a cream. If you take too much, you're going to get nauseous. Oh. Yeah. And then you're never going to touch it again. No, I wouldn't. I hope, I, I hope that wasn't too much. How no, no. I put, very wasn't in too much, yeah. I put like a flat teaspoon in there for you. Um, so, so you said the pain's going to go away in about 20 minutes. And yep. how long will that last? How It'll long? last about four to five hours. The pain will go away the for pain four, go away four or five hours. So, this, so like this is like Tylenol where you would have to take it every four to six hours. Yeah? It's better than a Tylenol because it's not going to affect your liver or your kidneys. Well, I can't even that. take Tylenol anymore. I'm yeah. allergic. Yeah. I can't. Mm-hmm. I go into shock if I take it. Yeah, we don't want you going into shock. Yeah. This so won't do that. Well, this won't do that to you. This this will actually help. It you better with the pain. not, because we have to go to the EMT if it does. Listen, well, I got the EMT. I got the whole kit in my trunk right now. We you can. Do? Uh, I'll bust it out. Well, I need some Benadryl and like a. I got know, Benadryl too. I bet. Oh shit, man. I like I said, me. Because you don't know when someone's gonna, gonna be allergic to something. Nah, that's that's almost impossible to be allergic to that. What was that? What was that mm. name of that Tina Fey, uh, uh, Amy Poehler movie, Sisters? <laughs> when, when when John Cena came there, I got Uncle Frank. I got I got yeah. I got that 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 that's, that's, that's yeah that, that's uh, you. Get all, oh yeah, every drug, yes. you know. Did you know, yeah, he named the I, list? I got I got Adderall. Oh, I'm cocaine. supposed to drink this entire. Yeah, drink Adderall. the water. Make sure you drink the water this way. You stay hydrated. Yeah, and I also ate very little the past two days. Probably you, we would hear you better if you actually talking to oh. the mic. I ate very little the past two days, so it was I, very I little. took it on an empty mm-hmm. stomach practically. Not really. I only had like <laughs> some candy yesterday, and then today I, I had candy, half I a fruit forgot. salad and some coffee. So, I mean, I'm really testing this because I didn't want to mix it with anything. I mean, the THC is inevitable. It's always going to mix with that. But, <laughs> you know, this, I, I had to try it. I had to. Kim, why are your breasts so large? What did you do to them? I'm saying, look at these. They're just the, the bra. Yes. Kim, they are popping out of your body. I They're wore, so nice. I was Anna Nicole for Halloween. You have kids? No. no. That's why they look this. They're amazing. They are. I don't even like breasts. I, I got to like get breasts. them smaller. What? Yeah, honey, they, they are a nuisance. Is, well, this know. is why I'm doing this because, I mean, also... What if I have a breast reduction? I don't That's want to another get, good question. I don't want to get <laughs> no. I don't want to get addicted to painkillers after the reduction because I that's mean, true. That's a very serious surgery. Does, does that help? Does that does it also help with uh, losing weight or anything? Like it yeah, does. You know, it does help with like losing weight. Dietary. Why does yeah. it make you poop? No, it just kills your appetite. Oh, this wow. is nice. Interesting. <laughs> It'll kill your appetite. <laughs> this is that. nice. So I hope it kills his headache. I'm feeling. I really do. Here's the thing. It, it's actually from the coffee plant. Kratom is a, is a cousin of the coffee plant. Is, so is caffeine in heaven? There's no caffeine in it. It's just the same family member. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just the same family. But again, there's different strains. What you missed, there's like a green strain which is going to give you less of energy and focus and a good mood. A white strain is going to give you a boost of energy. A red strain, which I just gave you, is going to help you for pain relief and to relax you a little bit. How did you find out about this drug? I, it's not a herb. drug. Herb. 
That's right. So I'm actually, I was, I was telling everybody before, I was actually, I went to uh, school to, be, to help come like a drug counselor. Uh-huh. Uh, it's called recovery coach, which I make more money than a drug counselor. Mm-hmm. And uh, nice. one, of the, one of the classes, not even one of the classes, they said one thing about if your client wants holistic medicine, find it for them. And that's the only thing that stuck out of my head. Um, and I went home and I started obsessing. Well, what kind of natural medicine can help someone with addiction? Mm-hmm. I obsessed for days online, mm-hmm. all hours of the night, until I found this stuff called Kratom. And I seen these beautiful reviews Ooh. on how people got off of heroin, how they got oh, off of wow. this, off the pain pills, off the all kinds of shit. So I bought $80 worth, and I gave it all out for free. And I told them, uh, I'm going to give it to you for free, but what I want from you is a testimony. Mm-hmm. And I got these testimonies. You got me off the pain pills. You got my son off the heroin. You got me off the post-traumatic. No way. I swear to God. I'm, you can Google me and it's I, written. I, ha- I will. I have this, to. This Google me and you'll say. Because we're, 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 we're going to actually have, a, we're going to have a, a cranium party. There we go. Uh, we're going to have cranium. a cranium. We're, we're, we're going to have a cranium party, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, of course, featuring uh, Trip of Radio Show and, and uh, S Street Media and whatnot. We're going to invite some of our friends. Yeah, for sure. Uh, to uh, sit and. Take Kratom. And just take Kratom. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. And so, I gave, <laughs> so, so I gave it all out for free, and I got, I got these beautiful testimonies. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at these testimonies, I'm like, this can't be fucking real. Mm-hmm, you know, I'm mm-hmm. like, this can't be real. And uh, I bought another $80 worth. And again, I gave it all out for free. At that point in my life, I lost a lot of money, and I sold a tiny bit just to make my money back. Mm-hmm. And again, the reviews came back, and the testimonies came back. I'm like, what the fuck? I said, is this stuff real? Right, right, right. And it was real, and after that, I just blew up to... What I am today. Oh, God. Oh. Dude, that's that's uh, amazing. Yeah, five years ago. I've been pumping hard for five years. been doing this. The same this. thing. Same shit. I worked odds and ends. Uh, but right. Until I got to this. I have no, right now, I have no time to do anything else but this. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Is, is there... So, is, like, do you have to do... Do you have to go... I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead, Kiko. Do you need to travel abroad and, like... No. Are UPS, you, like, doing... Sp- pop, like, what, like... You have to travel what with chain, one. Change... Tra- travel with one, what? You have to travel with abroad. <laughs> I travel with broads all the time. <laughs> I heard that. So, yeah, so like, do. are you? What, how are you reaching out to the public? Is it just word of mouth? Uh, What's word happening? of mouth, marketing online. I, Huffington posted a video with me. Oh, uh, nice. Vice to have some stuff with me. I have influencers involved. I have uh, Prohibit magazine did an article on me. Uh, I have multiple news articles that contact me and they want to do interviews with me. So uh, how are you going to feel if, like, other people f- discover it and then, you know... Like Listen, I got the best shit on the market. I'm not worried about it. I heard that. Really? Yeah, here's the thing. It's about... Tr- that's it's a, it's that's a, pretty it, tone. It, it's about trust, right? And I have wow. the name where people trust me. Like, mm-hmm. I, my job is to help people save right. their lives. And I have a lof- enough articles out there and enough reviews out there of me saving people's lives. And people like seeing that. Mm-hmm. And they say, you're the guy to go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any such thing as overdosing with, with something like the this? The thing is with Kratom, if you take too much, you're going to get nauseous, you're not going to do it again. Oh. That's your overdose. Right, right. You'll throw up. Less you'll less. tell myself, why the fuck did I take so much? And you won't do it again. Oh, so it's just, so it's just, so it's, but it's nothing where it's going to, like, have you tripping, nothing that's going to no, be, no. you know, no, but double what, vision. Or, but how that's much, yeah, right, like, yeah, it's too much. Kim and I are on the same page. Like you, so what happens if you start feeling nauseous? Can you do anything about it? You just feel nauseous and it'll go away. Uh, it'll I go away. I did, like, a teaspoon. And that's all you need. Or, like, a little pile of Kim, oh no! Me. You know what I did? I did a water bottle cap. I filled up a water bottle cap, and I did around that much twice, and I feel good. I mean, I've been in a lot of pain, like I said. So, but maybe it takes a few times to work. No, it works right away. Oh. It works right away. It's not something you want to use. That's why I told you, Kay. I told you, start low, mm-hmm. and we'll work your way up. So is this something that I would have to do every day of my life to, to eliminate pain? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, something you want to take for pain. Lifelong. And how do you afford this? Like, can we get? A, can we have a prescription for it? It's that? cheap. It's bullshit. It's like fifty bucks will last you a month long. Really? Yeah. Okay. But still, that's pricey for somebody bu- that's well, on. A oh, for a month? No, nah, that's ten dollars a week. Listen, Maybe. if someone's out there buying drugs, they can afford fifty dollars a month to get off their drug habit or get mm-hmm. off their pain. Yeah. Habit. Yeah, but for somebody that's not buying them and needs, like, you know. Do their insurance. Oh, man, I, even get my queen. Oh, I, I do a lot of donations for people that don't have it. I do a lot of donations. Or payment I, plans. Yeah, so, like, can yeah. you lower the dosage? Maybe, like, yeah, you know, I get I them take lay away. If they don't pay me, I go Oops, break stamps. their legs. You know, <laughs> I like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Sorry. <laughs> Shoot. 
No, it's, it's pretty cheap stuff. It's 50 bucks a month. It's really not, it's not expensive EJ's. stuff. Listen, people spend hundreds of dollars a day on opioids mm -hmm. or is, pain pills. Is there any type of uh, uh, regimen that, 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 you know, is it good with, is it good with eggs? Is it good with oatmeal? Is it, is it good with any particular type of food? Like, can you mix it in, can you mix it with food? Yeah, I'm sure you put it in smoothies and all that. You know, yeah, like, no, but you want to take it right away. You said like all at once. Yeah, you don't want to taste. It doesn't taste too well, you, as yeah, like, you've seen. Can I cook cold Because food you wouldn't, then? you wouldn't break up a Tylenol, one Tylenol and have it. Have it sliced right. out. So could you incorporate this it. into <laughs> foods if they're not cooked items? No, it's not something you want to mix with food. You're not listening, Kim. You ain't listening. We just, we just covered that. Now, come on. I suggest you just take it on. 20 minutes before either tw 20 minutes before you eat or 20 minutes yeah. after you don't take it so what don't eat it 20 minutes before or 20 minutes after then don't when the, during the kratom don't take the kratom 20 minutes before you eat or 20 minutes after you eat so if, don't eat 20 minutes before you want to take it and 20 minutes after you want well to how take come it. you didn't ask me when did i when i ate then? You, you didn't look hungry when you walked in <laughs> <laughs> there you go I, I wasn't i had three tacos a half hour ago no no it's fine you're fine four no, four? No, four hours ago. Listen, no, you start throwing up. 40 minutes ago, I had See, three tacos minutes. that I made at home. Yeah, then you're fine. Why didn't you bring you're me good. one? I'm hungry, Because I so. didn't have enough. Oh, you see. only gave yeah, me $20. I hours. Come oh, last oh minute. Gosh. I mean, what could I do? I had to buy... What can I do with, with this, this feeling? Hooked on your love, sweet love, love. Okay. Well, you wait, took wait, a wait, soprano. Wait, like, wait, how else should I do? I always go under. She goes over. She goes under. Maybe, um... We could put together a jingle for you <laughs> for the Kratom. Oh, that would be there nice. Interesting. A Kratom jingle because um, we have a lot I'll of talent it. in this round. Can they purchase this online from they you? They can. They can purchase it online. What happened recently is they shut down our credit card process or pretty much the government. And the pharmaceutical companies. Oh, they hate it. They hate like a motherfucker, not just hating. Mm -hmm. uh, and what they do is they shut down our credit card processor, which they know it's the main lifeline of our business. So mm -hmm. what we do is we... Cash we, app. Cash app shut me down. Google Wallet what? shut me down. Yeah. PayPal shut me down. They Try shut down my Tinder. Trend down Venmo. Did they, they really? They shut down my Tinder. Oh, I've wow. been off Tinder. They I've fucked me. there for a long time. They, they treat me like I'm a drug dealer. And pretty much what it is, it's the pharmaceutical company. What about Craigslist? Did they shut mm -hmm. you down? Craigslist, they don't you know, let you post on there. Either. They don't want us healing. They don't want no. us getting better. They want us to be, you know, dependent. And so when they see people that are like trying to go holistically, they don't want to be a part of that. They're like, oh, we're shutting this shit down. Yep. Mm. It's much. real. It's the, the, the okay. mob. It Ambulance is? ride to the hospital, the way they gave me last time a Tylenol, that cost a few thousand dollars. You can't take Tylenol? Tylenol? No, when I'm, in, well, when I'm in excruciating pain and, like, you throw something out, your neck or your back, and, like, you know, your whole body gives out, and it's, like, emergency room feeling, they don't give you anything when you go to the hospital. They really don't, especially when you have a history. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, not so much a history of drugs, a history of mental illness. I don't know how it works with the drug history, but mental illness history, they're very, you know, they don't want to give you anything. And, you know, I understand, I agree, but it's not good to let somebody suffer like that for so well, long. Well, it's, it's also like they just offer it to me it, as a like there, one time I, I kept going back and forth to the emergency room because I couldn't I kept coughing. I kept coughing. And every time I would cough, it would make me throw up. Right, and I was like, "What's the matter with me?" And I found out that there was mold in my apartment. But as opposed to finding out what the problem was, they kept wanting to treat me for the pain because you know that I'm like, yeah. "Well, the coughing is causing me pain, and I'm you know now whatever like my throat hurts and my chest hurts or whatever." Mm -hmm. And so they just kept trying to feed me painkillers. Yeah. So like, there is no win. Like either you're gonna suffer from pain, or you know what I mean, no, or you're gonna suffer pain later on. Yeah. CBD honey, I think would help for that. To try to push scissor on you probably. Uh, drink this, drink this codeine with that. Yeah. Drink this. I wouldn't take any it. of it. I'm like, I don't want to mask the problem. No. I want no. you guys to figure out what the shit is, but I have to figure it out on my own. Awesome. By the time they're done, what happens is they get you all drugged up, and a month or two later on, you're trying to get off, and they say, you know what? You can get off now. And then you're like sweating your balls off, yeah. and you can't sleep for fucking three, four weeks, and you're like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. Does cream also, does that also come isolated? Can, does cream come isolate? Also? No, you don't want isolate. There, <laughs> is, there is kratom extract and stuff right. like that. Like, uh, I suggest stay away from the extract. I suggest stay away from the extract. Just take the regular plain powder. Okay. See, I'm learning. I'm I mean, learning. it's natural. 
Yeah, so, so like I was saying before, so what they did is they shut down my credit card processor. So there's no way people can order online. But we do extend courtesies where people can send money orders or checks or... Um, oh, you're going back to the basics. Yeah, yeah so we're going back. Or what I do is I, I control... What it is is I, I'm well known in the New York City area. So if you go online right now and you Google buy Kratom, I will pop up first on the first page. So thank God I'm blessed with that where people thank can God. come meet me and mm -hmm. they can just sit down with me and they can speak with me for 20 minutes. And I would help them get off the, the whatever drugs they're on or try to help them get off whatever pills or whatever it is. How long do you think now if someone is, is a recovering addict or trying to kick it and how long do you think it, they need to consistently take it before they start seeing the results of <sighs> I'm not interested in doing the shit that I used to do? Sure. So what I usually tell anybody that's coming to trying to come off the opiates, I tell them use it for about two weeks and then stop. Let's get them over the detox, right? The detox and withdrawal symptoms sometimes last up to two weeks. Mm -hmm. I tell them do your two weeks detox and just stop using it. You know, I'm, 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 I like making money, but I like seeing people get better first, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I, I never say push over two weeks. If they want to continue after two weeks, they're more than welcome to, you know, they're more than welcome to. People, Do you have this written out like on your site? It's all in my head. Oh. He was this, um, of the like, if I, like if I don't remember, if I have, because I have short term memory. Yeah. How am I going to remember the dosages and like how long? You could find it online. You can That's find what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. You can find okay. it online. Basically, just okay. remember not too much, not too little. <laughs> All right. And like if you're on an empty stomach, right? It's don't like, eat it. Don't, it's like don't. basic, I guess, right? It's like basic common sense. Like a little spoonful. Well, not, you could always basic. add more. Right, because who's gonna? I mean, really, who wants to go? Who's gonna just dump the whole bag and be like, oh, and you know, it's isn't it always better less? And then yeah, you always, you always want to you always want to start lower. Work your that's way what out. I'm trying to say. Yeah. So you know what I mean, like a, a spoon, like a little one, not Cam, like he said, talking not to keeping, the mic, please. Not heaping spoon, just you know, a small <laughs> spoon, and like I guess add every few hours through the day or as needed. Okay. I Thank mean, does this help in an emergency situation? It does Great help. question. Great that question. was yeah. what I needed. It does to help in an emergency. If you're in a lot of pain and you want to take some, take some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like even if it has only been three hours? Yeah. If you're oh. still in pain, you can add more. The thing is, the trick is, like, like was, was Kim was trying to say, in a way, <laughs> <laughs> start low and work your way up. You know, if you're in a lot of pain after three hours and you need more, take it. Okay. It, it's better than taking a, a Percocet or Vicodin. Yeah, I don't want that. So it's like harm reduction, right? Mm -hmm. it, can, it can look both ways. I'd rather see someone abuse Kratom than abuse heroin. Why did you ask me if I had taken Percocet recently? Because uh, you're dealing with pain. And what happens is sometimes if you build a tolerance for Percocet, you might need a little more than other people. Got it, got it. Got I it. have a very good question. You're going to like this one. Okay. How is this, the Kratom, for stomach lining issues? With, um, like, you know, somebody maybe has, like, that takes on um, problems like for heartburn or have maybe had a problem, you know, with, you know, pills, opiates in the past, and it maybe ruined their, ruined their, ruined their, ruined their stomach lining and mm -hmm. also ruined their colon lining from taking excessive amounts of pills. I don't know if you've ever heard about this in your field, but um, people that take excessive amount of, you know, pills, it could ruin your whole... So I get it, like almost like creatine uh, help hurts mean, the uh, kidneys. Like, uh, does, does rheumat it? like uh, something you know, like colitis. people bleed mm -hmm. through their stool. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the digestional. Well, there is there is some. Colitis. I mean, how is that? I mean, how does this affect? You know what I mean? Like the stomach. I guess the GI yeah, tract. Yeah, I get system, what you're saying. saying. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So there is studies shown that it does help help ulcerative colitis. That with CBD will help you build your lining back. No okay. way. Yeah. yeah no, you see, anyway, look at the studies. Look at the studies. Look at the, look at the studies. Israelis are very smart in the CBD world, in the marijuana world. They're, they're, mm. they're some of the smartest people when it comes to marijuana. They have a lot of studies over there stating how marijuana and CBD helps ulcerative colitis. Now, we have a CBD receptor in our brain. Mm -hmm. and when that gets unbalanced, what happens? A lot of things get fucked up. Also, a lot of people get ulcerative colitis because your receptor in your brain is shooting down messages, right? And saying you have some kind of inflammation. Doctors want to treat that inflammation, but they don't want to treat that receptor that's, that's shooting mm -hmm, those signals mm -hmm, down mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. Now, CBD will calm that receptor down, and marijuana will calm that receptor down mm -hmm. for, for that ulcerative colitis. Okay. What else? I want to know what else it does. Well, you, I'm, I'm going to go on the site then. So, it's probably, you definitely have to yeah. do a lot of can research. It, can, it, can it help with like erectile dysfunction? It can. Ooh, that's it good. also, it's a stimulant too. <gasps> mm. So you take your green one before sexy time. <laughs> You take Can a green month, on sexy your... time, you'll be going for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I brought you some green toe, so you'll be you'll be having some fun. Go home mm. to your husband and beat I him up a little wait. bit. I yeah. can't wait. I can't wait. And I can't either. <laughs> he doesn't want you to watch. No, oh. no. Oh, sorry, bro. The voyeurism. Can mm. you smoke kratom? No. no. <laughs> I know. It's I'll not smoke cocaine. Anything. No, not that. <laughs> I should have said that, but. Can you snort it? No. I know. I'm saying amateurs. No, you Why just no, no. We you just Ants. drink it or no, eat it and pill form. It, it only can be taken orally. Orally, yeah. Hmm. Me and her were two freaks. We're like, ooh, wanna? <laughs> no, I'm not. Places. I'm asking for the people. The people want to know. It's not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's only orally. I know. Taken. It's always the people. <laughs> Wow. I'm only. <laughs> Kim is just, she's just too she's wild to today. She I is. Know, no, 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 no. No, but no, it's a very serious matter. So that I just wanted to know. The you're saying it's time. a very serious matter and your titties are popping right out. Yeah, they it's not are. That and I can't even <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, that's, been that's hiding, so much better. I only wore this for Halloween because it's Hallow's Eve. And I don't know how you got those breasts. I want some. I wore the outfit. I like, I. I want them to wish mine set up really nice and perky I like just, that. You're so nice. You're so fortunate. You, you don't know that. Thank you. Well, I don't show them off. Well, because everybody will never look at your eyes. They would never know what no, you're saying. No, because I'd be follow, I'm followed all the time. And that too. Jeez. I have to, well, even when I dress low key, it's still, it's uh, this world, it's, it's come to. I'm not, that's a whole other. Yes, it is. So we won't even. Oh, I'm so not, glad you said whole other and not whole nother. Yeah, so, no. you know? I wore this, the two of you. Oh, oh, that's so nice. nice. I can, I can, we have to write a song about this, uh, okay? Um, if, if your tits were mine, I would place them in my hands, squeeze them of all. I don't give a damn if those tits were mine. I'd give you the Oh, you know, so. flowers, <laughs> the birds and the bees. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I, I don't know the rest of the words. Oh, man. But, but if that, that's, does that it make you sleepy? Like, like, like. It doesn't... depends on what strain you. It depends on what strain you take. Okay? Does it, it doesn't make you feel like you know a little. How are you feeling right now? By the way. I, that's what I'm asking you. I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed. Feeling relaxed, right? So you take yeah, a red does it, I feel like I, I feel euphoric though. Honestly. Yeah, it does make you a little euphoric. Okay, because it makes I, me pooty. Pooty. Like pooty. Yes. Oh, pooty. But not like pooty time? Uh, yeah, I've been, like, I've been uh, pooty. Like just a very here. mellow. It oh, may, no, it's, 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 it, no I've, I've, I just felt it just at, like all at once, though. Is that How's your leg feeling? That's the main thing. How's your knees feeling? That's why you're taking it for. Listen, don't start dancing. Don't kill yourself. No, no, She's no, already no. moving her legs. No, no, no. I got to know. I have to know. I mean, it's not going to take all the pain away, but it's going to make the pain subside. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna double. It's working. It is working. It is. Told you. But, but I mean, does, does the pain subsided? Is it's it, subsiding. It, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to say it's all gone. It's not. Give it some time. It just kicked in. Wow. Listen, you'll start seeing shit in a few minutes. I, I, and be no, like, John, I love you. What kind of stuff? You that's gonna, what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> no, I no, saw, yeah. I felt like something, a little cloudy came. And I'm like, is it supposed to make you feel a little loopy? It's supposed to make I feel you a little loopy. Can, it makes you feel a little relaxed. Yeah. It will make you relax. Especially okay. the first few times you take it, you might get a little euphoric from it. Can you can, can, yeah. it, be, can it be used in like shakes or Yeah, you can put it in a smoothie. <laughs> we asked that already. No shake. I'm hanging up. I don't gotta do no, this. No, no, I see what happened. I'm I'm, I'm giving I'm just, uh, you, you can put it in a smoothie, this? you can put it in anything you want. This is trap weed. What can trap you explain weed. that? What does that mean? Uh -uh. What that? Weed from the trap house. Kim. If anybody knows what a trap house is, because I just discovered it. How, how, so you and Kim know, know one another? No, I just met Kim tonight. I, oh, yeah. I've been googling she came in the car for a me, while. Yeah, yeah. did she? Out, he, yeah. he mentioned. I'm I've been I've been researching this for a while, and then I decided I have to take action. I can't take the pain anymore. I mean, it, it the pain's driving me like insane. Yeah, this pain. I mean, when you're when you're in pain, you get like angry. It does make you. It drives you Kim, mad. Like, a, let me you know explain when people say you. like you're a pain in my neck. Like, yeah, I know Thank where you. that comes yeah, from. Don't help my pain in my neck. Let me explain it's something to talking. you. I'm sorry, I'm getting this together. Um, I I started to see the elderly in a different light, right? So sometimes you're like wonder, wondering why the elderly have this disgruntled look, and they always look like a lot of them look just like just like in a bad mood. They're in pain. They're in pain. Mm -hmm. And I know because I've been in pain and I'm like, I don't feel like standing talking to you for too long 
because I want to keep it moving. I want I need to sit down or whatever. So that's what lets me know that it does change your, your temperament. But it also could be they're not getting any sex. Thank you. And absolutely, that could be. Mm-hmm. Want some old that shit makes you real um, temperamental. Listen, you're in pain. You don't want to deal with nobody. No. You don't want to deal I'm with I'm in nobody. pain all the time, though. You never even notice. Listen, and then when you take Kratom, you're, you're, the pain is gone, and then you're able to deal with the world again. Hmm. You guys need to Google this shit. You guys oh really God. need to Google I If you're listening, it. As a listener, this is how I already knew it already. I came here and, no idea. you know, I, this, I Googled this. Research. Can Does it help with your bowels, too? too? Like, bowels? I don't know. Okay. Well, that's his first I don't know tonight. Well, yeah, I'm I saying, don't know. No, that's great. Because, I mean, I feel like it's fiber. It looks like it has a lot of It does have fiber, fiber in it. See? It does it. It's, I'm it's telling you. I know my stuff. You could... F- something... I know. That's why I asked. And that's why you have gas. Well, that's... I don't Another know. reason if, why we all had to come together, right? And if you take too much, it will make you constipated. I don't like that. Mm. So just don't take too much. Okay. It's that simple. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, sir. So. so I'm saying we... Yeah. You, so did you just get on when I got here? Like we're not just no, we have, no, we have about 15 minutes left. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, we have about 15 minutes left. That's we, so we nice. We and crane them. I want to take a break. I don't feel like talking anymore. Well, we can't take She's a break. Well, we, we got 15 minutes. No, I never feel like talking anymore. Well, no. yeah, she never feels like that. <laughs> She took the cream. She's like, I don't want to talk anymore. All right, so I have other questions sure. because people want to know what, what the tea is. So they, we can, they're going to find you mm-hmm. online. They're going to find you that way. Um, you're going to meet them. Where do you live? I live in Brooklyn. All right, yeah, that's middle. Middle. Yeah, I'm in Brooklyn. How far are you mm-hmm. willing to travel? I don't travel. Mm-hmm. I'm fortunate enough to have people come to me all day long. I was fortunate you know? enough to be... Close by. <laughs> Are they coming to your house or do you have a, a... They do come to my house. I invite them over. I sit down with them and I help them. Do you prepare food for us too? No? No, nah, not the food. I don't get that quick. All right. I can't have everybody come upstairs. You know? No, so no, only, no, no. Only, only, only the cute ones come upstairs. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, they, they come by. They, they call me. They give me a phone call. They, like I said, if you just Google me and you type in buy Kratom, I'll pop up first. It'll okay. be Red Devil Kratom. And I get a phone call. And I get phone calls throughout the day. Well, why, why are we calling it Red Devil then? Funny thing is, so I made a, bl- a blend a long time ago, and the blend was called Red Devil. And I was known as the guy giving out the Red Devil Kratom. And it just huh. stuck with me. The and you're in all red tonight. Absolutely. So this has to be a sign. And he's in red. You know why? Because yeah. we're in sync. That's right. No, Boycott that's... sales. But, but, uh, but support John. Mm-hmm. Support John. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Thanks. 40 acres in a, in a, in a kid. Are, are you at any festivals and stuff? <laughs> I have no time for festivals. I asked that. My day, my day. Thank God is, is is really busy. I have no time to do anything. Could, do, can you do? Would you would you mind having other people ha- sell it? Well, I do have uh, authorized dealers and oh, other parts, other, other parts in the this other parts of the country. So we're we're pretty much worldwide. I'm pretty much worldwide. I'm. You don't even need any help. No, no. I I. I uh, I'm always looking for more help. I like money and I like helping people, so mm-hmm. might as well make money I mean, helping yeah, people. Yeah, that's great. Okay. <laughs> you know, uh, we okay. do have we do have. to live. How do you, how do you, how do you how do you how do you sell it to your uh, uh, to your to your people that sell for you? How Thank do you how do you? How do you so we sell in bulk. We sell kilos. I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah. This guy, this guy yeah. sells weight. He's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pushing that's kilos. This this guy. So we we ship it. We, we sell it in kilos, uh, and they bag it up. I'd be honest, it's kind of just like dealing weed, but you're helping people with <laughs> right, it. Right, right. You know, it's pretty much they get it, they break it down, they put it in scales, they, they put a label how, on it. How, how much is a, is a kilo of, of, of creative? So it depends. If you're buying it, uh, a kilo can run you anywhere between 150 to $200 a kilo. A kilo will last you four or five months. So this, is, so this is like a kilo? This the size of this, uh, well, a kilo is about 1,000 grams, about 2.5 pounds. A little less, two point two and a quarter pounds. Mm-hmm. You learn weight real quick in this business. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to tell you. Mm. You learn weight real quick in this business. It's it's. Thank God it's a lucrative business. It yeah. is. You know, I'm I'm blessed. Uh, I wasn't always this blessed in my life. I'm know? glad. You know, and uh, and I be on, and I be honest with you, any business where you're helping people is the most rewarding mm-hmm. business. You know, God yeah. looks out for you. God yeah, says, does. you see, you, 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 you're helping people now. You know what? We're gonna, I'm going to help you. Sure does. You mm-hmm. know, and that's the way things work. Uh, yeah. This uh, Saturday, I have an inter- I own another company called Green Angel CBD, and we're pretty up there also. Uh, so we had uh, New York City Film Academy. They contacted me, and they said, we've never seen so many good reviews on a CBD company as yours. Oh, wow. And I said, yeah, you think that's good? Google Red Devil Kratom now, too. <laughs> the lady called me back. She's like, when can I meet up with you? 
So they want to do a documentary. Oh, on, yeah, that's yeah. so dope. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, so. That's so dope. I want to be in a documentary. Like God looks out for me, you know? You know, when you're helping people, mm-hmm. you, get, you get good karma. Mm-hmm. When you're fucking people over, you get fucked. Yes. People live a grimy life and their life is not happy anymore, you know? Do you consider yourself an optimist? I do. I know. Mm-hmm. But there is times where I, I kind of like put myself down. I'd be like, you know what? Maybe this creating business is not worth it. The government keeps coming after me. But then I keep telling myself, you know what? If you stop doing this business, you got a lot of people who are going to die on you. Do you remember the first yeah. person that you helped with the creative? It was an old lady. She was about 75 years old. And I gave her a hit for pain and for her son for an opiate problem. And she said, you, you saved me and you saved my son. Oh, wow. I'm gonna tell you, I I feel really relaxed. I really do. There are other things I'm feeling too, but I can't describe them. Mm-hmm. That's why I keep winking at me. I'm, I'm with you. Please, pineapples. Yeah. So it does work. Like I said, it does work. It's it's an amazing. I'd rather have someone take kratom than a Percocet any day. Of mm-hmm, life. Mm-hmm. I'm totally against mm-hmm. it. You know. <clears throat> and if someone's gonna abuse kratom, I'd rather see them abuse kratom than abuse heroin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Because you're not going to have any withdrawals with this. You're not going to die. You're not going to die. Fuck the withdrawals. Die. You're not going to die. You know? But you're not going to have withdrawals. You're not going to have withdrawals either. Right. Mm-hmm. Good you're answer. Gonna, you're not going to have wet draws? Wet draws. Wet draws happen once in a while. Oh, wet draws. When you drink too much Kratom, you get the wet draws. Oh. What's you know? that? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. This, uh, could we get ready to wrap up in a, a minute or so. Just tell them where, uh, give us your social media handle. Sure, so, so you can find me on uh, on uh, Facebook, Red Devil Kratom. Uh, then you can find me out of the company, Green Angel CBD, is Green Angel CBD on Facebook. And then on our Instagram, it's Red underscore Devil underscore Kratom. Same thing with the Green Angel CBD is, is uh, Green underscore uh, Angel underscore CBD. My email is uh, red devil at gmail.com uh, my cbd company is uh, green angel cbd at gmail.com so it's pretty easy it's pretty self-explanatory mm-hmm, mm-hmm. give us a shout out let us know if you have a family member with problems or you're trying to come off opiates we'll we'll help you out and get you off how long does it take i will get a person off of opiates in two days i don't believe not you. even i had this is one story so my little cousin he called me up a while back ago, and, and I knew he was on drugs, and I told him, I don't, don't bother me until you're ready to get better. Uh-huh. So my uncle called me up, and he said, your cousin's dying. I said, what's going on? He's like, he's really sick. I said, he's coming off of heroin. I know what the fuck he's doing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he calls me up, and he goes to me, John, I need your help. I said, listen, don't fucking bullshit me. I got no time for no bullshit. Right. He goes to me, I'm really, really sick. I'm really, really sick. I come over there. He's on his knees begging for help. I said, all right, this little motherfucker wants help now. Right. I gave him a teaspoon of that stuff. No joke. Within 45 minutes, he was up on his feet. I said, we're going to NA, an AA meeting. He came with me to the AA meeting. Oh, wow. The next day, he went to work with his family. What? I swear to God. Wow. The kid is married now, and his wife is pregnant. Oh, That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. You said, you said two days. Not even. Wow. They have, but again, they have to want it. They have to want to get better. I can't force nobody to get better. <laughs> I knew about this 15 years ago. So Boy. have you ever heard of someone say that they they had a shot of it and then still still wanted to get high? Like, yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. It's not the heel. You got to remember, at the end of the day, it's up to the person if they want to get better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How, how, how bad have you had it that you want to stop? Right. Or right, how right. bad do you see yourself getting that you want to stop? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I want to. I'm. Get, I'm going to go to the website and find out what other properties it has, other healing properties it has, and I'm going to spread the word. For sure. Thank you. Go to reddevilkratom.com. Kratom. K R A T O M. Got it, guys. Mm-hmm. Why are you scratch? What does it matter? You got the itches. No, I guess no, cause, cause my chest is starting to feel jealous about Kim. Buster Brown <laughs> Show. Tell us about where we can find you at, and please talk into the mic so I have to keep telling you. You could find me at Busty Bomb Show, New York. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, and um, and Marilyn Monroe. And that's it. Oh, and you could also <laughs> find me at the Kosher Kitchen posting on Instagram. Are you Jewish? Yes, I am. And um, I'm actually coming out with a line of CBD candy that's all kosher and vegan. And organic. You have a kosher kitchen? Yes, I do. I'm oh, well. I'm in the beginning of a kosher kitchen. Congrats, right now, Mazel tov. 
Thank you, because I want to join the healing train. <laughs> Mazatov. Mazatov. I want to join the healing, you know, Matzo and uh, help the masses. Soup. So yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the, that next time. I next brought, time you come. I brought some treats for. Thank you so much. We love treats. Mm -hmm. Are you Italian? I'm actually Jewish, though. You're Jewish too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't no bullshit. Born and raised in Brooklyn, though. Yeah. No way. American Israeli. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Mm. I, I didn't go to yeshiva though. I, I, grew, I grew up. I grew up tough. I didn't go either. Yeah. Don't worry. You didn't go to yeshiva. Mm -hmm. You look a yeshiva girl. Yeah, I could be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> religious. Closer. Hard to believe, but I keep kosher sometimes. There you go. I mean, at least I you know where you're from. I don't keep kosher. I got tattoos everywhere. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, right, I'm not right, that right. kind of Joe. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess I guess we're gonna bid you goodbye. There you mm -hmm. go. Are you gonna tell where you can find you? I can't. Remember. You can find me in the club. Bottles full of bud. My mind got what you need. <laughs> so you can find me at um, the Cupcake Caddy Radio Show at Gmail. Mm -hmm. And you can find me at the Cupcake Caddy Radio Show on Instagram. Yes. And then you can find me at the Cupcake Caddy Show on Facebook as well. And you can find me at the Cupcake Caddy Radio Show on YouTube. Did you know that? Check you out Did you also know that I have a dot com that I don't use? Don't don't go there. <laughs> but it's also cupcakeradioshow dot com. Don't do it though, cause there ain't nothing up there. So um, and you can you can call me two zero one. Never stop. Don't do that. I would never give you my phone number, cause you guys are already creepy enough as it is. Um, thank you guys for being patient upon my arrival. I had a pretty tumultuous day because Venus is in retrograde. Um, so happy Halloween, you fuckers. Mm hmm. And be careful out there mm -hmm. because people are insane in the membrane. What? Insane in, in the membrane. All right. Well, where can they find? Will, mm -hmm. where can they find you, my man? Your boy, Will BK. You can find me at, uh, well, let's see. I always go through this. Uh, you can find uh, Will BK. No, w -I -L -L no, you can't. No, you can't. -E -E no, stop it. On Instagram. No. You can find me on the Tip of a Radio Show on Instagram. You can find me on the William Kirksey on facebook also where you can find trip over radio show as well and let's see somewhere else uh s street media s street media underscore will bk no uh, s street let media me tell me tell me what underscore bk w who's BK. looking through all of that can you just make it easy for them i'm like you can find me everywhere that's ridiculous they're not gonna remember <laughs> none of that i'm, I'm letting you know that so if you guys want to find will bk go to my pages <laughs> i'll link you i'll go you know cc so, so stay tuned uh, for for the up, uh, upcoming promotion that we're gonna have with uh, Red Dragon. You don't uh, smoke. No, I don't smoke. Yeah, Good, me don't, either. We, yeah, it me makes neither. me bug yeah, out. Take that. It makes me bug out too. That's it why I'm, I'm only gonna out. have that much. Anyway, thanks for joining us. You know, next week we will be back with another crazy story and crazy things going on here. But you know, we try to de we still try to be health conscious here we on do. the trip of a radio show. An alternative means of psychedelic masturbation. Well, you're, you're a little off. It's okay. Why don't you go straight to hell? <laughs> anyway, do that. Thank you, Busty. Thank you, John. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Check for us out. Yeah. Next time. Peace. 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 Pe